I'm here, Yoshi. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sunse campaign. It's been a little while. In fact, it's, no, it's, well, I was gonna say it's been a little while. In fact, it's been this many days, but I, have, I actually don't have any fucking clue as to how long it's been. But uh, yeah, it has been a while. Um, obviously, started this when it was still early access time for us content creators. Um, and uh, now that we've completed the Lubu campaign, we can move on, or yeah, move back to the uh, Sun Tzu campaign, which uh, was going okay. I, I mean, we only done uh, one campaign so far. Um, oh, this gives us luck per. Okay, I didn't realize we had luck per turn. But anyway, um, we are still losing. I believe. Uh, God, we're losing like seven uh, luck, reckless luck per turn uh, overall. But um, we're okay for now. We're still, you know, pretty far away from dying. Um, although that would be pretty bad. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, we're back. We're we're back to the campaign. Yesterday's stream ended a bit weird as well with um, the chat cutting out all of a sudden. But uh, we're back. Also, I totally forgot to put my webcam on. Hello, hey, it's me. It's me, your favorite donkey. Uh, while I'm here in my OBS menu, though. This is the last stream that is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. So one more advertisement uh, coming right up. When I this stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, it seems to have been broken. Once uh, let me restart that. This stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I'm sure almost all of you have heard of this game before, but you haven't heard about it from me yet. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play dark fantasy RPG that's available on both phones as well as PC. Let me go over some gameplay. In Raid Shadow Legends you collect champions, which you can then take through different modes like the campaign, where you level up your champions through a fully voiced story with tons of loot after each battle or chapter. You can also jump into dungeons with bosses that get progressively harder, but with a chance to win artifacts that will increase the strength of your champions. These are my favorite modes so far, but there's also PvP in the arena, and even group PvE in the clan boss modes. There's loads of ways to get new champions, but the chief form is through the portal, where you will open shards that you unlock through regular gameplay or purchase in the in-game shop. Each of these shards contains a random champion at various rarities, depending on the type of shard you opened. You might get some champions that aren't strong enough to make the team, but rather than having them benched indefinitely, you could choose to sacrifice them in a the tavern to upgrade your stronger champions even further. This way you can get some really solid champions to fight with. Finally, I'll mention that this game gives tons of support for new players, with daily rewards and even rewards that get better the more you play. If any of this has piqued your interest, make sure to download the game. You'll find links in the description. Speaking of rewards, if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver as well as a champion for free, the Hexweaver. You will find those rewards on the top right of the screen in the homepage. Hopefully I'll see you all in game. Alright, there we go. Final advertisement. Now we can get back to the game. So, last time we left off, uh, we were at war with Yan Baihe. We are still a vassal of uh, Yuan Shu. Um, so I, I need to get, you know, acquainted with the campaign again. It has been a little while. We are at war with um, Yan Baihe. It looks like we're not really at war with anyone else, though. Let's have a look. We're also at war with Zhang Ba. Zhang Ba is all the way up here, though. So I don't... Oh, yeah, I think I must have been pulled in by Yuan Shu or something on that one. Um... Other than that, we are trading with Ma Tong. We have broken trade with Zhang Zhang, who I'm... Uh, that, hold on. Is that not owned by... No, that's owned by the Elder and Rebels. Okay, so I think she may have taken that at some point, and then it got... it Because I, I must have, you know, established trade with her somehow. Um, we have trade with Liu Bei and the Han Empire. We actually... Uh, okay, the Ma Tong one is making us more money than the other ones, okay. We can demand autonomy, but that wasn't really that relevant. Um, I think we're going to get a, a mission at some point to, to break our peace, I'm sure. So let me have a look. Who is he at war with? There, he's at war with the He, Yi, Zhang Ba, Zhe Rong, and Yan Bai He. Um, we also have some deals, regular food income. We are supplying food. We have currently seven food, okay. Uh, we are receiving quite a bit of money, and we are a vassal, of course. Um, what else is there in terms of deals? Let's have a quick look at... Uh, what other people we may have deals with. So Lu Bu, yeah, we've got some pretty good deals with Lu Bu. Didn't want to get on his bad side. We are supplying food to Yuan Shao that's going to end this turn. He's already got three vassals. What the? Okay, so we got to keep an eye on that one for next turn because that's going to be running out. We are receiving... Oh my god, we're receiving a lot of money from him. I, actually, I'm pretty sure all of our income currently is actually 
Uh, oh god, 2.5k from diplomacy. <laughs> if we lose all of that, we're like so bankrupt. Holy shit, we're making a lot of money from that. Okay, so definitely keep an eye on all the deals that are going to be running out soon. Looks like quite a few deals running out in like five turns. Okay, there's another a little bit of money from Yang Feng. Oh, Yang Feng. We have 470 bucks we're getting from Tan Ying Lang. We also have a hidden war against faction for another 18 turns. I don't quite know. Who even are you? You're this one over here. Oh, right. Yes, I remember. We pieced out with them and that pieced out with her vassals as well. Who I, yeah, because I was planning on attacking them. Or, I, well, I was I was being attacked by Yan Bai He. I needed, needed to do something about that or I need to go back. No, we were being attacked by this dickhead. But he was a vassal of her or whoever used to own that faction before. So we pieced out with that one, and then all of, all of a sudden we were pieced out with all three of them, and I didn't quite realize that, so that's when I decided to go after Yan Bai He. But we can declare a war on this faction again pretty soon, I think. Um, other than that, we are... I mean, that's just so many factions still alive. Yeah, no other deals. Okay, we have non-aggression with He Yi for some reason. I suppose I could get some more other deals with for non-aggression and stuff, like Han Sui, if he wants to pay me a bunch for that, I'm totally welcome. Uh, he... Has no money. Wow. That is the poorest I've ever seen anyone. He's literally out of cash. What the... What the fudge? Okay. He has nothing to give me. So I guess that's why I didn't take that one yet. Cao Cao. What about you? 2.3. Will you pay me a whole load of money for that? That's actually not bad. I wonder if there's a reason I didn't take non-aggression with him yet so far. Because that's a really good deal. I can even add... An extra one food in there for that 1.1 is up this a whole bunch more because that's actually totally worth doing. Well, that's so much money for that one extra food as well. It's like the most I've ever sold one food for, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, yeah, that's good, right? I mean, why wouldn't I do this? There must be... Was there a reason that I wasn't making deals with him? I don't know. I'm going to be busy in this south for a while, so I'm pretty sure this is fine, oh. right? What do you have in this campaign so far? Right, I'll, I'll check that in a second. We have quite a few legendary characters already. All right, who else is here? Liu Biao. We're already getting money from Liu Biao. I wonder what that's from. Did we piece out of him or something? I very much doubt it, but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to get much more money from him right now. So we probably wait until that deal's over before we send a new one. Wang Lang. I'm definitely... No, I don't want to get Wang Lang piece because he's uh, someone I'm going to be attacking soon. Uh, Cao Cao. Let me just check if you're willing to give me... No, you're not going to give me any more money for that. Okay, that's okay. Who else? Liu Biao, Sheng Zhang, and Yang Feng. 2.4. I mean, unless I'm going to get a whole bunch of money from this, which I very much doubt. I think that Cao Cao deal was the... Yeah, we already got money from these people. The Cao Cao deal is definitely a, a unique occurrence, I think. All right, so we're not going to sign anything else. Cool, well, we're making a bunch more money now, so that's good. We also had a battle waiting for us, which I think I am going to fight. This is just going to be a field battle. No, wait, it's not. It's a lumberyard. Um... All right, so let me check the characters. So we have currently Sun Tzu, obviously. We have Lu Fan, who is unique. He's also, he's an administrator right now. Okay, let me have a look at that as well, actually. Oh yeah, we have, okay, so many roles and stuff already, because I need people to keep to stay happy. I got Lu Jun, I married her, him to my mom, <laughs> which sounds weird, but yeah, Lady Wu. Um, and then, Zhang Xiao is a candidate, right, but I wasn't going to buy him because we're going to get him from a uh, mission, right? We have those, those, uh, no, wait, 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 just an actual mission here. So when we take, uh, th this one, yes, yeah. so if we take Zhang Ye, small city, this one right here, we're going to get Zhang Hong and Zhang Xiao. So there's no point in me paying a thousand bucks for him right now because he's going to join my faction regardless. He's 41 years old already. He's not very good, is he? Um... That's a very that's a lot of satisfaction though, holy shit. Okay, so yeah, we have we have uh Lu Meng, who is I mean he must be unique, otherwise I would have fired him. We got Zhu Tai, we got Lu Jun, we got Lady Wu, who's the only character in my faction who isn't very good, but she does a minus five percent corruption, which kind of makes her okay later on. We have Tai Shi Chi, we have Huang Gai with Han Dang, uh, who is also unique, and then we have Zhu Yu Peng uh, Cheng Pu and Sun Tzu. Cheng Pu wasn't very good, was he? I don't even remember. And we have that role right now. You wouldn't have anything, but he's got uh, Liu Chong's crossbow. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, okay, so I think it's time for a battle, if I want to battle that battle. Um, 
We have some Tiger Guard. That was our unique unit. Very Sounds good. Lance Cam and a Raider Cam. Oh, God, Raider Cam. I must have not had the money yet to replace those. We got the good units here. And then we got Mercenary Archers because those are actually better. Or at least... Yeah, they were. I think they were almost as good as Crossbow because they have more uh, armor piercing damage ranged than regular Archers. And they have a lot of base damage. So they actually are fairly good compared to Crossbows. Um, anyway, you have Yojin in your court as well. Who the fuck's Yojin? What do you mean? I don't have Yojin. Who the hell's Yojin? He's here. Oh, here. He's available. Oh, yeah, he's unique as well. But I think I just don't need any more characters. We, we got Le Meng, Le Jun, and Tai Chi Chi as our, like, fighting general. So we don't need any more unique characters. Uh, this guy's pissed off, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Right. Um, yeah, let's do a battle. Let's see what the garrison The garrison's quite large. It actually isn't going to be a very easy battle. These guys have 200 range, so they do actually range have the same range as me. We do have a uh, turtle, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so we can cheese the towers at least. We can burn down the towers as well because we've got fire arrows. Uh, yeah, we'll have to just, you know, kind of murder everyone. It's okay. Mercenary Arts Rock. Yeah, they're pretty good. I, f oh. I think the historical event of how he dies kicks in when his luck run luck runs out. Yes. Uh, if soon so luck runs out, will he die? Yes. Uh, also, I've heard that if that happens and Sun Chuan or anyone, I guess, comes of age, like becomes your heir or becomes your faction leader, sorry, the resource stays the same. It just resets back up to 250. So apparently it does stay the same. If I heard that right, if that person was correct to Mundo. Uh, okay, where am I going to attack from? There's quite a few towers on every side. I mean, I do have fire arrows. I think mean, here is probably make, makes, the, makes the most sense. So let's do that. No trebuchet here, so that's uh, unfortunate. Right, so you guys are actually going to be quite useful because you're going to go distract the towers so that our, our archers can get into range. Also, it's raining, a bit annoying, but oh well. I did make it a night battle, though, so that's good. Morale will be lower, etc. Okay, so you've got the crossbow, but there's no actual characters here to shoot, I think. You've got 50% range protection, you've got Flames of the Phoenix and Blood Fury. Oh yeah, I remember. Anytime he goes into melee with like anything, uh, unless it, it is as somehow stronger than him, he is, which would only be like Crazy Jewels against Lu Bu or something. But yeah, anytime he, he's winning, he just goes berserk immediately. So you send him into a regular unit, he starts going berserk right away. So that's great. Uh, Alright, so you guys are gonna... Oh, I actually should start a battle at some point too. You're just gonna move up there. You're gonna move up there. And then we'll move the archers behind them. Ah, oh, man, I spotted. Um, everyone as faction leaders in danger of losing his luck, which means death. Yes, although at that point you will easily have already gotten like, enough reckless luck per turn to counteract the thingy-majig. Eventually you should like basically stop it and then you'll start going back up again if you you know get enough. Uh, okay so we're gonna go fire arrows. We'll take you off fire at will for a second. We should be able to take down the towers easily. Let's get you a little bit closer. These units are really good as well so quite happy with them. Quite 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 happy with them. Uh, let's do one at a time here because I don't have a need to get myself wrecked. Because I actually do have to get these up to 100%. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello! I'm actually taking some damage as well. Wait, what? How did we lose 17% to that one? Wait, what is happening? Oh god, you're getting burned alive. Stop. Holy shit. Oh, this... Oh, no! It's all going wrong now. God, these are very difficult to burn down right now because of the fire. Or because of the rain, even. Okay, get away from there. Fuck, I lost a lot of men there. I lost like 70 men to fire. And this unit lost like 25 men, 26 men to fire. Let's let that burn out and then we'll go back up again and we'll start shooting at units. You guys can go back on fire will now. And on regular arrows, please, if you wouldn't mind. Alright, I'll get you guys up as well. The boys. Uh, you got Blood Fury on Sunsa. Yes. 
um, which uh, is not great, but that's okay. What mod is he using to show the heart? It's not a mod. Hold the spacebar and then select things here. It's uh, honestly quite beyond me how people still don't, don't realize there's so much UI stuff you can do in this game, or in any Total War game for that matter. Although in, the, in this, in the latest ones, you have to do it like here. All right, fire away, boys. We have quite a few uh, ammo. Oh yeah, we have. Oh my god, they have so much ammo! Holy shit! Why is it still on fire? I could have sworn it was out a second ago. Yeah, it's nice to having this much ammo. We are actually taking a lot of damage on this fire. This unit lost 90 men from just fire alone. That's mental. That is ruddy mental, Daesh. God, it feels good having this much ammunition. Holy shit. Let's get you guys up this way a little bit. I need to make sure I stay out of range of their archers because they will actually fire back. It's the passive of the spear unit. Uh, guard. Uh, this only targets generals. Generals get 30% damage resistance if they are in range. Everyone is safe when this unit, when this one is present. It's the one thing that you can rely upon when all else is back down in murky politics. Okay. God, having like for battles like this, archers are way better than crossbows because while I, my damage is obviously quite a bit lower, they have like three times the ammo. Like they're just fucking firing for days. Holy shit, this is great. It actually does feel good standing here just firing at like volley after volley. We're definitely doing a lot less damage, but. Okay, there goes our first ammo. Our first units. These guys are a bit low as well, but... Oh, there's their archer. Murdered him. I mean, to be fair, we really are doing a lot less damage. Okay, there goes that unit. Just just stay here. Just, 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 just. Okay, just. I do actually want to kill the archers, because that's more important. Because they will actually do damage in return. I maybe shouldn't have 1v1 this archer unit here. That was a bad idea. Didn't really consider that. Okay, we somehow routed them quickly though. That's good. No, 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 oh god, no, no, no! Oh, I made a mistake. Well, I guess I caught him in combat. Although, aren't they like anti. Okay, maybe we should use some fire arrows actually. You need to get out of here. If I use fire arrows, we just start routing all these units around low morale. And that's a lot of them. Oh, we're burning down their oil. Oh, fantastic. Totally planned. Yes, Kung Chi. Oh, that was pointless. Did we do it? No, there's one archer unit over there. Go get him, boys. Oh, right. That's why I can't select him, because he's going mental. Yeah, Blood Fury is a bit, uh, a bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? In it. All right. Well, that was good enough. I'll take it. Donkey, you just won with archers. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of... Well, these are mercenaries, so they're not regular archers. They are definitely a, a decent bit better. But I, the amount of ammo you get is actually kind of turning me around a little bit. Especially now the crossbows have been nerfed. It does bring them a lot closer together. In, like, longer fights and, like, more sustained uh, battle, archers might be a lot better. Because that is a huge amount of ammo they get. Like, that's pretty good. Um, ah, there you are. Oh yes, we were wondering where he was, because he took this like a couple turns ago. Although, he, I think he'd been sitting there for quite a while. But I'm glad he's here. He's got his little bro, bro with him as well. Um, but yeah, so I think uh, I'm kind of turning... I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, not 100% convinced or anything, but I do think archers are quite... Like, they're a lot more comparable as a crossbows anyway. In price as well, look at that. Um, yeah, comparing these to mercenary archers, they have 15 more base damage, 7 more armor piercing damage, 4 more ammo, and they're even a little bit faster, but that comes at the cost of uh, armor, so it's not necessarily that good. Um, but yeah, they just like, they're way better at range, and then if you compare, yeah, I guess comparing regular archers to crossbows, you have a little bit more base damage, but you have a way less armor piercing damage and then you have double the ammo so you do you know fire twice the amount of ammo but the crossbows usually kill so fast that they don't need an insane amount of ammo so i feel like between these two i probably still go crossbows although i think a mix might not be too bad 
um, like maybe three crossbows, two archers, or the other way around. But between these two, I, I'm pretty, you know, mercenary arch, just fucking fantastic. So yeah. I do want to get a trebuchet in there as well, but again, we're making so much money right now from diplomacy that I can't really afford that, because we're going to be losing a lot of money when all that goes away. Uh, did I have any assignments? No, it looks like we're full. We're doing one with Liu Meng. Okay. Um, we're building a building there. We have a lumber yard here. We need to demolish this, don't we? Because we don't actually get to keep that. And then we need to convert that over. Uh, and then you're going to go and attack this army once they hopefully come near. They might just go this way, though, which would suck because obviously I have nothing to defend myself with that way. But we'll see. We shall find out soon enough. Um, okay, let's have a refresher also on these ones. So we got to take the Poyang Iron Line, which is to the west. Okay, that's that one. Then we got to take the entirety of Jonya, which is to the east. Then we got to take, and these are all plus two reckless luck per turn, the income from industry, whatever, that's, you know, meh. Okay, this is uh, Wang Lung's territory, I'm guessing. Then we got to do, un oh yeah, we got to do a bunch of jewels. Win five jewels with Sun Tzu and deploy five commanders. This one I still think is so fucking weird. Because um, all these other ones are like really easy to do, right? And then deploy five commanders basically means have six armies because your first army is going to have um, Sun Tzu in it at least. Although, maybe what you can do is deploy commander, get rid of him, deploy him again, get rid of him, deploy him again. I'm not sure if that counts, but that could be a cheesy way to do it. Um, then we gotta do have a rank 4 commander or a champion who's 18 to 30 years old. Do we even have any? We have Lady Wu who's 38, so that's not possible. I need another champion for that. And we don't even get any um, reckless, turn, uh, reckless luck from that, so it doesn't actually matter that much. None of these actually do. This one does. We gotta... Um, Defeat Yan by her and Huang Zhu. Huang Zhu is the vassal of. No, that's not this one. Never mind. That's. Oh, fuck me. He's miles away. It's so far away. Also, if he gets killed, do I just not get a chance anymore? That's kind of. That's kind of rough. Um, and then there's this one the Road to Emperorship. Uh, have no vassal master. Have a... Okay, that's all fucking miles away, right? So mostly, we gotta take. Uh, well, this town was gonna make it's gonna fix all the stuff for us. That's two already right there We got to take the entirety of this province and the entirety of this province I'm pretty sure and that's gonna be six reckless luck per turn which will actually get us positive already. So Just got to get that done before we die Sounds easy enough. I'd say um, Right anyway, I think we've uh, done all we can do. There's nothing we can build is there otherwise it would say tell me right there uh, we have no more diplomacy to do because we've already done that. We have a mission from the faction council, which is uh, send Zhu Yu on an assignment, which is never going to happen because he's currently in my army. So let's get some new missions. Uh, construct settlement administration. I'm not sure if I'm doing that, but I'm sure it'll happen soon. Be at war with that person. That's going to happen soon as well. So that one's fine. And move a character to Poyang Copper Mine. Well, if he ends up going there, then I'll have to chase. So that works out as well, possibly. Okay, sounds good. Um, other than that, what kind of reforms have we got again? Get a refresh on that as well. While we're doing all the refreshments, we have a lot of character salary already as uh, like down or um, reductions. We have both the trade agreements. Okay, so we haven't got any of the food stuff. We haven't got any of this uh, yellow stuff we need to get. Okay, uh, none of the important shit really. Yes. Wait, did he just go back? I wasn't really paying attention. He's gone now. But it's over now. Take Kuai can fix your economy. I mean, just think logically. Why would I go here now when I'm a war with Yan by her? Um, peace, peace, peace. Wow, everyone fucking peace out of this faction. What happened to them? Did they become a vassal or someone? Uh, wow, holy shit. That faction must have been really just hated by everyone. And we got some friendships, okay. Uh, Lady Yan, wow, are you with a grudge against Sansa? Okay. Interesting. Uh, and some other random woman. Actually, worth looking if they're between 18 and 30 years old and are level 4. In which case they would possibly be worth hiring. Okay, we don't even have a upgraded town here yet, so that looks like it'd be a 
logical thing to do. Where's my food right now? We're selling two from... Okay, yeah, one of the deals ran out this turn, didn't it? With... Uh, God, who was it? No idea. You want Xiao, I think. So I'll need to look at that one in a second. Um, yeah, I think upgrading this is actually pretty damn important. Although Copper Mine gets us a really large garrison, which it currently doesn't have. So it's going to take four turns. It's going to take six. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, both make sense. This will get me walls in this town here. But he's gone back that way, so I'm not too fussed about that anymore. Um, let's... Let's just, let's just get the town first. It makes more sense. Okay. Then we demolish that. We can upgrade this as well. Go on then. Oh, go on then. Uh, we got another person who's unhappy. We have... 20, 20, 20. Okay, well, that's that's all fine. 20, 20. Uh, okay, so who, whose food deal just ran out? Was it Yuan Shao? Well, we don't have one with Yuan Shao. I don't know if that was the one, though. You were the one that I want? I think it was. I'm pretty sure we had a food deal with him. All right, so he's very poor on food. He's rich in money. Here's all of my food. What do you say? What do you say to that, buddy? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not going to give him all. I'm just going to kind of see where... Okay, there's some big jumps right there. So I'll give you... Five food. And we'll make this an even 500. What do you say? Oh, wow, you say no. Wow. Okay, buddy. Uh, 20? Can we push our luck? Oh, we can. Make it 25, will you? Okay, that's too much. Too too rich for you. 522 for five food. That is like such an insanely good deal. Definitely having that. I don't know how much we need our food, to be honest, but I think it's okay. Right. Uh, Jan Baihe owns one more town. And we are going to go and attack it. I Once again, well, I can't actually afford it right now, but I don't want to get this yet because our income is still pretty at risk, if you will. But we are going to start moving that way. I'd like to fool, I'd like to sprint so I can get there sooner, but I actually don't know if I would be able to even get there next turn. I very much doubt it. So let's not bother. Um, okay. This has got, I've got a, I have so much stuff I need to upgrade still actually. Uh, how are our relations with people? Attitude. Wang Lang loves us. Wang Lang fucking loves everyone. Uh, yeah, you want sure Vessel Master loves us. People to the north kind of okay with us. These people, and then, yeah, they hate us. Okay, so that's definitely the next war again after this one. I'm not going to declare war on the Yellow Turban Rebellion, because we saw how they actually became quite large in the... I mean, I might do at some point, but they became quite large in the Lubu campaign. I don't really want to have to deal with them myself in this one. There's my boy Zhang Fei. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's continue, I guess. It's not a whole lot we can do right now. Ah, he's back. Oh, I think I might be able to... It might be in range of that. Uh, I will get some money and you will... Their character will join our faction. So you want me to give... You want to give me your daughter, I'm guessing, to my faction leader. I'm sorry, but I do believe I can do better than that. I know that sounds a bit, you know, high and mighty of myself, but... Did the Dutchman say anything about 24-hour ep super mega epic sellout for Bitch Koku stream? <laughs> I'm not getting any money for it, so... Um, no, but again, I, I don't know yet. If I do decide to do it, uh, it'll likely have something to do with... Wait, who'd you make me peace out with? Zangba. Okay, I peace out with Zangba, that's fine. Um, it will likely have something to do with... Um... Sorry, with uh, Bannerlord. Because, you know, if I'm going to play 24 hours, then I might as well play something that I'm excited for. Okay, I can reach that army. Fantastic. Then we will we will certainly do that. Uh, before we do that, though, we have some tech to unlock. So what are we going for here? Because I do I do want to go for the food. I, right, that was the thing. I haven't even got this unlocked yet. Although I can build that, so it's not too far away. Um, so we can go up this route to go for the usual stuff. I want to go in here, and I guess we've already got this unlocked. Do I? I do want to get this, but that's really not a rush. I need to get this one and that one open. But I guess I can go for here, because I do want to get these eventually anyway. I took way too long in the Luboot campaign to get those. I don't have anything easy to acquire here, like cataphracts or something, but I, we have some unique calves, so I think I'm okay anyway. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to go up here. This isn't going to do much for us right now, but we're not really, you know, in need of anything crazy just yet. 
except just overall money. Okay, Lurjun is also unhappy. All of them are just hanging around at 20 though, so actually this guy is dropping further. And he doesn't even have any, um, like, being bored minus yet. I don't know why they're all becoming so damn unhappy though. This isn't giving any happiness, so I, I have no idea. Well, let's murder people for their entertainment. Maybe that'll help. Alright, I got a 29 and a 35% chance of capturing the boys. And we got a bug. We saw this in the Lubu campaign as well. Okay. You guys any good? This guy's got a heal, right? Like a healing ability. Mending. Armor, melee evasion, and 3.2k health. Over 20 seconds. That is not that much. You can do it four times, one minute cooldown. Alright, sounds good. What have you got actually for abilities? You've got Poison Volley. Have you got a bow? Yes. Ooh, you got the uh, sweet unique weapon. I'd love to take that from you if you wouldn't mind. What about you? Have you got a unique weapon? No, you just got a Giovanni Pure Guard. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that either, let's be honest. Alright, those are actually some pretty strong boys. But we should be okay. Make Lady Wu Air. No. <sighs> I spit in your general Isn't that like I fart in your general direction from uh, Monty Python? Jewel someone would since uh, all bandit champions get mending. All of them. Holy fuck. Okay, so I do need to jewel win five jewels with Sunse, but these are some tough duelists, I imagine, so I'm not sure if I actually wanna Oh, what the fuck? This guy's... Okay, there's definitely some bug going. Oh, no, wait, no. He's... They've got a unique thing where they can hire yellow turban dudes as well now, right? Maybe this isn't bugged. I have no idea. Whatever. Uh, let's set up. In ye olden fashioned way. I did make it a night battle, so... Fire arrows, not too bad of an idea. I can't reach them afterwards, I'm pretty sure. So I will have to try and kill everything off immediately. Immediately. How much cap do they have? I don't remember seeing any, but I might have been blind. I'll still set up somewhat defensively. Just in case. Okay, you know what? I'll put like one unit in fire. I'll just, eh, I'll put two of them. What about that? Alright, boys, come here. I'll compare stats and, and stuff and have a look if I want to do jewels. Burn them down. Uh, okay, so they both want a jewel, but they're similar strength already. He's stronger than us. Man, Sunsa fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, so compared to him, he has more base damage, less arm piercing damage. He We attack faster, we have more charge, but it's irrelevant. He has 10% more armor. Same melee evasion somehow. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, that's, like, that's a risky jewel right there. This guy, we have uh, a lot more, no, a decent bit more damage, not a lot more. A little bit more armor piercing, or um, melee evasion, a little bit less armor, though. Pretty damn even, I'm not gonna lie, he's got a little bit more HP. Also, they're not moving, little bastards. I guess I don't have a trebuchet, I didn't think about that. Well, <laughs> we're gonna have to go there. For, for realsies this time. Let's walk. I do have a crossbow, though. Definitely worth having a couple of shots at one of these boys and then thinking about doing a duel. And then, yeah, if these guys are already, you know, the other guy is apparently just straight up double chevron better than us. So, let's not take that one. Worth hitting units of poison shots. Oh, is that something they've got? Okay, that's... Poison has been nerfed like crazy, though. So, that's something. Special blade would be insane on Chengpu. What, the... Uh, like... The blue blade or something? Is that what you mean? What's this guy got? He's got Kindred John, okay. Um, yeah, let's have you start running out. Let's do some pop shots. One to say, just charge a general in and then remember, then remember this isn't Mountain Blade. No. It's not. You're right about- oh no, don't do that. Just uh, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot that little bastard, what do you say? I wonder if I should move up a little bit. Make sure I have a really solid shot. Well, it looks like you're doing that anyway, because you're easily in range at this point. Oh, he's got a fucking bow as well! Oh god, it's poison arrows! Holy fuck! I've been hit. I'm not taking any damage. Maybe I wasn't actually hit. 
Oh fuck, he's got a bow as well! God, I took a fucking... I brought a, a, bow, a crossbow to a double bow fight, apparently. Oh, he's take, they're taking shots, okay. Oh fuck, he's coming towards us. Shoot back. Okay, I don't... Oh god, having a strategist go in a 1v1 arrow fight is not a good idea, though. Here, shoot at Sun Tzu instead. Actually, you know what? Even better. Shoot at him. No, 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 I'm good, thank you. Let's uh, just do that right away, and you as well, actually. Let me pop that as well. Okay, now you shoot at him, please. Okay, you're shooting at Sun Tzu. Ah! I think I took that one. Although I didn't take any damage, so maybe I didn't. Okay, you're not being shot, apparently, so just have you run back. You're gonna keep dodging. Are we hitting him at all? 56, okay, 40, okay, we're doing damage to him, but he's got a lot of HP, apparently. So let's compare stats of him, then. Oh, fuck, she's shooting back at him. Well, if he was, he's missing like crazy. Okay, he's running away. Let's let you be for a bit. Wait for him to sit still. How much ammo have we got left? Quite a bit, okay. So comparing stats... Wait, he's fucked off. I can't see him anymore. Never mind. Not comparing stats at all today. Let's run you over now. Uh, the other guy still has ammo, though, so we've got to be careful. What is impressive but foolish? I'll crush you for this insult. Okay, there. Okay, there is the the big boy right there. Oh god, this is. Let's make him waste his ammo as well. He's still got the ability though. Is he even? You know, I really should take him to do this. This is too risky with my strategist who will die from a couple of shots. Don't do it. Oh, that was close. Here, I'll bring you my sentinel. Shoot him at your leisure, please. Ha! Foolish. Yan by her stalk, he's hidden unless he shoots. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Fuck, are they coming towards me? No! I need time to shoot! God damn it. Don't do it. I could actually s literally just run back a little bit. Oh, fuck, we're in range. Oh, God, this cat. What the? How did I not notice that cat right next to me? How have you taken this much? Oh, man, the poison volleys are really fucking me up here. Am I gonna lose? Jesus Christ. Okay, the time, the chance of shooting at the general for a little while did not work out too well. Uh, oh my god! Jesus, these guys have, like, some kind of crazy shit. Like, we're being shot by, like, nothingness. Oh man, this is, like, an actual... Pretty, uh... Rough situation. Bandits feel a lot more like bandits now. I can tell you that much. I like fighting a hidden army over here. Like, what? I'm being shot by stuff. I don't even know that's there. Okay, you, you, and you are gonna have to make this line like this. And you're gonna be chucking out because you are way too dead already. Were, was he just wounded already or did he get shot and I just didn't notice? Okay, shoot at uh, this guy for a little bit, please, if you wouldn't mind. Get in here. Soon, sir. I don't know what the fuck to do with you. Let's kill this raider calf, please. Uh, calf, go around here. I need to get into those damn. Oh my god, what the heck do you think you're doing, sir? Let's not. Let's not, shall we? Holy shit. You're being chased now by the little brother. Well, I'm the older brother, let's go. Okay, I need to get into those damn poison archers, because that is, like, legitimately scary. It feels more scary than it is actually is, probably, but still. Let's kill this guy, shall we? Oh my god, did you actually... Shoot him point blank. Just do it. Yes, pull out your bow and fucking shoot him. Yes, do that. That's good. I like that. Okay, we're starting to ride their units. Oh god, where do they come from? Just kill them. I don't care. I don't care where they came from. But they're here now, so, you know, we, we may as well deal with them. Our infantry so far is actually okay. I think overall we're pretty okay, to be honest. It just... I'm scared. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, we brought them again. Fantastic. Let them be. The amount of arrows we're firing in there. Oh god! Why? Why'd you go in melee with him? You son of a bitch! How many times? Shoot him then. Just fucking just shoot someone. I don't care who you, who you're shooting. Just do the pew pew with the gun. All right. Okay, we're killing this veteran. Who might not even be a veteran. Let's get you over here because I might actually need some re, re backup. Some re backup. Are you turned around? Are you even shooting? I don't know what you're doing. You need to come back by the way because this is ridiculous. You also need to do something, preferably. Actually, you know what? Just just, just stay on the offensive. Let's keep killing all these boys. We gotta make sure we do enough damage here. I know those are spears, but I think we'll be alright. Go kill them. Um, okay, do a little bit of that. Stay there, stay there. Oh my god, his body! 
Oh, that's a scary man right there. Look at this man. Oof. That is a scary boy. I kind of... I'm mesmerized. I'm going to keep looking at him. Are you even shooting him? Because I swear to Christ, if you're not shooting right now, what is happening? He's not doing anything. Okay, you guys keep killing everything. We're, we're pretty much okay here now. Oh, don't don't chase the calf. Don't go chasing cavalry. Is the song, I believe. Don't go chasing cavalry. Wait, did we kill something? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, good. Kill the little brother now. Little bro. Spears, why don't you come help out, actually? Alright. It was a bit hectic, but we managed to... Managed to just about deal with this shit. And there's still... You know... A couple of generals. Oh, he's gone berserk again. He's back from berserking. <laughs> come on, man. Alright, let, let me get my broski back here. You, come back this way. This unit's getting wrecked or ruined by this younger brother, and I'm not doing anything about it. Let's get you out of there, or at least attempt to. I really wish you could actually shoot at these people. Okay, they're about to route, I think. Yeah, mass routing. Get into melee, then. Don't even, don't even bother shooting, because you're clearly not good at it. Alright. Victory, indeed. Oh, you can go back this way again. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, if you could just go ahead and kill him, that'd be fantastic. He is faster than us, but we might be able to catch up anyway. You're gonna kill him. And he's also getting shot, which means you're getting shot and you're fucking getting wrecked. Oh my goodness. Please stop. Please stop range units, please. Jesus Christ, man. He's on your side. Okay, you might want to stop that. You're, you're also just getting killed. Are we even doing any damage to him? It's just kind of... You know what? Actually, just shoot him for a little bit then. Uh, we killed the shooting yet? Two? Yes, we most certainly have. 43. You gotta kill more. Is there anything this way? Oh, there most certainly is. Go that way. Go kill them. You go kill them as well, actually. Nope, they're gone. Go kill them. Okay, we're shooting him. 27k. Not doing particularly well, though. You also aren't killing him at all. It seems 20k HP still. Yep, we're not doing anything to him. Nice. That's what I was looking for. Best battle so far. How do you mean? It was an exciting one, though. I, I do like the bandits. Like, fighting against them. I'm sure playing as them could be quite interesting as well. They actually do feel a lot more like bandits than they used to. <laughs> Our men are gripped by bloodlust. Ah, they said... Uh, okay, that unit's gonna get... I think the calves, the most, for the most part, is only what's gonna get away here. You're still killing them. You've killed them already. Unless that's a cav unit. I don't think it is, though. No. No, it most certainly isn't. Are we doing anything? I mean, I can I can understand you're not doing much, because you're a strategist, but you... You stop chasing him. I mean, if you don't want to kill him, that's okay. Okay, you're much faster than him. Let's go chase him instead. Actually, kill them real quick. Maybe kill a couple of them. There you go. What about them? They're good. Okay, go kill him for me. You are just gonna keep shooting at him. Just don't shoot my guy. Blood Fury. Oh, that's why you... Oh, so if he's winning the... Oh my god, that's so bad. So every time he's chasing someone and he thinks he's winning, which he will do constantly... Wait. Oh, no, he got away. He's gonna stop chasing because of that. That's ridiculous. Okay, I think we're good here. Wait, what's this? Uh, it's whatever. Alright. Bit hectic, but you made it work. I think it was good because you said shoot. I don't care who you shoot, just shoot with the pew pew. <laughs> that is good. Just kill him. Hitting you as a poison shot at your front lines and got a few hits in. Young bio has. Oh, yeah, there, I read that. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Alright, we got two cab units that got away and the boys. Oh! Oh, I captured all three of them. None of them want to join me now. Um, I could probably make him join me. Oh, gee, hold on. This is sure. Oh. Okay. So if I execute him, then I might as well execute his brother too. Because if I... It, like, he's the heir, probably. I'm assuming he's the heir, right? So if I kill him for the weapon... Uh, and let him go, because I'm like, oh, I might be able to recruit him once I kill their faction off. But no, he's going to be the new faction leader, so he won't want to join me. Kill Jan by her, kill... Your pew pew word was also repeated by my wife, too. <laughs> it's a good word. I would advise mix of fire and normal arrows. Well, that's what I had. I had two on fire arrows and three of them on normal arrows. 
they'll never join you. I would I would kill them, but you do what you want. They will never join. Why would they never join me? He's the area. If I let them both go, then he might join me once their faction goes. But it is unlikely, I suppose. Uh, oh god, he's got an heirloom spirit. Oh, Jesus, I can't. I have to take all of them, don't I? 700 bucks, though. I almost wonder if that's worth more than the heirloom spear. spear. Probably not. Plus, he's bugged. I'm, I need to put him out of his misery. The guy doesn't exist, and he doesn't know it yet. I don't like executing, but... It'll make people happy, at least, right? Dutiful, brave, determined. I... I can't not. You know, you know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta murder everyone. Alright. Got, uh... Something from defeating him. Oh, what a what a row of items! Three silvers and a and a legendary. That is that is pretty good for you know a couple of items. My goodness. Also, I'm sure you would love these new swords, wouldn't you? So they are just so much better. And then also, instead of minus nine expertise, they give him plus ten expertise, but you lose ten instinct, but you gain nineteen expertise and ten percent melee damage. Yeah, those are some pretty good uh, weapons right there. Uh, you are a pretty mediocre jewelist right now. Once you get exemplar, you'll be okay, but... It kind of needs the 50% melee evasion. I'm pretty sure I'll give these away to someone else at some point, because he's not, like, our, my best jewelist. But he's alright. He's a bandit killer, though, so... Well, we did, we did kill some bandits, so that's pretty good. Um, he's got 77% melee evasion. Fuck me, he's actually quite good, isn't he? Maybe if he gets some other good traits as well. And I need a weapon, like something here. I also have Breath and Wind just laying around. Just have a, just have a, a legendary weapon just laying around. Why not? Um, anyway, we got the G of the Imperial Guard, so that's good as well. But nothing I want to give away right now. And I have two of these horses, but again, I don't really want to give those away either right now. More of 40. Actually, more of 40 for you. Not be that bad. You already have a horse, though. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I can almost reach them again. Not quite, though. Uh, in which case I'll stand in my own territory. Make sure I replenish a little bit more. Oh god, that's some horrible replenishment though. Oh boy. That's quite shit, isn't it? Luckily it doesn't matter, because we're just going to take this out, no problem. Alright, we have five people unhappy now. Holy fuck! What happened between just now and the battle that made everyone so unhappy? Why? Also, yeah, what was my reward for taking out Jan by her? Sp uh, specifically. Uh, this one. We got five reckless luck. So is that also... Oh, right. That's why we had per, uh, for several turns, because it was stacking up. Oof. Wait, is this ever going to go away? Because if it doesn't, that's pretty good. We need to like, really get rid of this at some point. Um, and tip, 10 diplomatic relations with Han Empire factions. Okay, fair enough. Now we're just going to take out Wang Zhu. We actually get some good bonuses from that as well. Speaking of, how close are we to second marquee? Pretty damn far. Okay. Right, uh, we got a building we can build, yes. Let's go ahead and build, we have a, yeah, we have a dude in here. Okay, let's build this one, and we can build that one next turn, and then we still get the bonus from that person. Plus this will unlock the next tech thing. You should speed up your reckless luck. I don't, like, do you got, I don't know. I, I don't want to be too negative when people comment stuff, but like, it's not a choice, right? I'm not like... It's not a button I can click to increase my reckless luck or something. I have to do specific missions for it, and I can't just magically do those missions. I have to work my way towards those missions. Like, I don't understand when people comment stuff like that. Fix your reckless luck! Fix your economy! Like... I can't, though. It's not. There's no magical fix economy button or fix reckless luck button. I have to do things for that. Anyway. Um... So yeah, people are fucking pissed, which is definitely not good. Um, oh yeah, that's increasing our retinue upkeep as well. Or decreasing, and it's going to get worse. Yeah, that's pretty meh. Um, make Lady Woody air while Soon Chuan is still growing up. I don't want to, though. Because people have suggested this to me a bazillion times, and I keep saying no. He's 15 years old. He's going to come of age pretty soon. Uh... Right, yeah, I do need to consider this happiness, though, because they're getting worse and worse. Do I have any other 
titles right now. Yeah, he's my chief of record, so he already has one. For 25, my god, he would leave me right now if I didn't give him that. His lack of purpose is a big problem, though. I don't even have any, like, happiness items. I have two, so I can give some of those away, I guess. Um, so for one guy, take this, and... This guy is actually constantly dropping lower, so I'll give you the satisfaction on there. Okay, sounds good. Once you delve him, best choice to go towards Changsha, to be honest. You gave mission on Kwaji, I believe. What the Jesus? You have much more to gain on the left right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this iron mine, and I'm gonna take uh, this and well, I'm gonna take this iron mine. This is far west as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go af this uh, afterwards. Because I want to take, I want to get those reckless luck things. But first, I want to take this because it's just the iron mine. This faction is also just this one town, I believe. Yeah. So if I take this, I take out the faction. Then we go after this, or maybe we go after this on the way. But they do actually, because they're a vassal of that faction. But anyway, we'll figure it out. Either way, um, I feel like this is uh, pretty clear on my channel at this point. I don't tend to really listen to people telling me where to go. I can, I'm pretty capable of playing the game myself. I feel like. Um, all right, it's end turn. I'm just gonna... What the f... What happened there? Well, aggression pack with Zangba. Uh, will you pay me a bunch of money over time? Oh my god, no you won't. Um, well, 699 is okay I guess, but I'm not that fussed about it. Eh, I'll hold that one for later. You can release Handang. I could, yeah, I could release him, but I don't want to. Southside formed a coalition with Liu Biao. Okay. Yan Bai He, faction succession. Lu Bu declared war on Cao Cao. You want Shu Commander Vassal to join a war? Not me, luckily. Ma Tang declared war on Liu Zhang. Sheng Zhang is gone. Oh shit, not available though. That would have been great. Maybe she'll uh, jump into the pool at some point. Maybe she died. I don't know. What was that noise? Clicked on like making a building and a bunch of horses just went. Um. Let's see here. Uh, what am I looking for? Yes, this characters. Oh, she dead? I guess I never met her personally, but still, I don't know. She might be dead. Let's go take this rice patty. Demand uh, surrender is pointless. Do I auto-resolve this? It is a defendant's town. Um, 100% chance of capturing Pan Ling over here. You any good? The incense master. Your stalker. Yo, dude. Um, he's got some nice items. Do I just delegate this? I feel like it's replenishment's kind of trash though, so maybe I should min max this. Uh, yeah, fuck it, I'll min max. Your, your trade. What? Cherry cola or strawberry vodka? <laughs> Lemonade! Hmm. There's no PT fighting? Just auto. Too late. Do not lecture Pan Ling on war. Draw your swords. Uh, right, I do want to use you guys. Okay. Entire army was already in position. Good shit. Let's go. And triple speed. We're just going to hang out right there. You guys are going to go all firewall for a second. 
Let's see if I can start taking down those towers without getting shot, preferably. Nope, we're getting shot. Eh, it's okay. You guys, we'll fire a volley of that. Actually, one volley would probably be enough. Then again, we have so much ammo, as we now know, that it shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, easily enough. Alright. Let's go on regular shots. Does this actually... Yeah, there's less armor-piercing damage. Okay, there go the towers. Good, good. Should have stayed back longer, but whatever. Uh, they have bandit hunters. They have 200 range. Yeah, they're all bandit hunters. Okay, so they do actually have the same range as myself, but I'm pretty sure our archers can probably do the entire thing here. Ooh, these are unarmed. Or, uh, no, they have a shield. Wow. Okay. Let's have one of you on fire arrows, just to uh, make him route a little bit quicker. That unit's going to come back from routing in a minute. Let's send a cav or two after them. I want to keep all my cav around here anyway, to be honest. I should probably send you guys after them. We're going to get shot by that unit the moment we get over there with their cav, so let's actually send the boys after them instead. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Stop shooting them. Okay, still out of range of that one, so we're going to be killing some more units there. Fa fantastic. You guys can hang around here. Just kill anything that comes out. Kill them all. Okay, move up a little bit more. We're going to be in range of that unit very soon here. We're going to be getting shot. There you go. That's okay. Fire back. With one unit of fire arrows, they should ride pretty quickly. There you go. Minus morale. See ya! Okay. Boys, kill them off. Oh, you're on fire. Let's get back. Don't want to lose too many men to fire again. It's a bit annoying. We're almost shooting the guy himself. The man with the plan. Alright. Unless they come back from routing, we should be pretty damn... Pretty well done here. Let's move up a little bit more. Still one archer back there. It's a bit annoying. A wee bit annoying. What if a bunch of units came back from routing and started attacking my cavalry? Probably wouldn't even be that bad, to be honest. Okay, they're gonna route. Nice. Wait, they're not. They're not quite low enough. Yes, come closer. Move straight into my range. Goodbye. And you? Not quite. There we go. See you later. All right. Clean. I'll take it. Definitely would have lost more of that was off. Panling is of the Pan family. Well, I'd imagine so with that last name. Well, yeah. Um, who were the most effective generals and administrators of Eastern Han period from Pan Chao and Pan Yun? Okay. Good to know. 500 bucks. All right. Garrison games. Uh, ooh, replenishment's pretty damn good right now. Our army is a bit low. Yeah, I'll take that and persuade them. Who this? Shun Yu. Yeah, that's a unique guy. You are... Oh, you're 40 years old. You're level 2, so you're nowhere near the, the brackets that I needed anyway. Goodbye. Was he in this faction then? What the... What the? Ooh, Zhu Yu ranked up. Nice. Also, let's... Oh, I can't do anything right now. I need to let that finish first. Okay. You are going to get Ripples of Perspective. 5,000 forest spotting. Wow. Wait, you're a... Hold on. You're a... No, you're not. This guy is. Administrator. I was going to say, that might be the only time that I would ever not pick this ability. Because I wanted to pick this in, uh, income from industry, but... He's actually not an administrator, so I will take this. I do want to go for judgment as well. Okay. So, are we are we good? Do we have any kind of... No, we don't have any deals. We don't hate each other. In fact, we're pretty basic in terms of happiness. I can't do anything with you deal-wise, so I'm just going to have to take it. Alright, so next up... I, this is a tough one, right? Because this faction would be a logical next choice. Oh shit, now they, own, they own more, they own three towns at least. They might even own more this way, but I can't see. No, actually that's on Empire. Wait, it says deserted. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, here, yeah, this one is deserted, but it's also owned by the Han Empire. Does that mean they own it, but it's level zero? Oh yeah, that's exactly what that means. 
Okay, so yeah, this faction, they own uh, these two, and then they own another province here as well, Lombard, uh, or another um, part, county, whatever you call it. So, cause, but it's annoying, because they're a vassal of this faction, so I need to kind of go through them, or, you know, I can attack this faction. I guess since their army is probably over here, I should fairly safely be able to take this out, then go this way. Our income has gone down a lot. Diplomacy 2.4k, so we lost some kind of diplomacy, I don't know with whom though. Um, and then this is a f uh, vassal as well, so they're gonna also declare war on me, or at least join that war. Uh, but their army, I think, I guess it's across the river because they own another town now. Uh, oh, their army's right here. Okay, that's well, that's right fucking next to my town, so I can't declare war on them right now. Well, I wasn't gonna do it anyway. But I want to make my way over here first anyway. That's gonna take quite a while. That's why logically it makes sense to take this copper mine and the livestock farm on the way. But I can't peace out with their vassal, unless I peace out with them as well. Do I have any active deals with you right now? No, we can just declare war on you again, I think. Uh, also, we have several trade available right now, so let's see if we can get some of that. Oh yes, okay, there's gonna be a bunch of our money right there. Gong Sun Du, Shi Wu, Wang Lang, Zhang Yang, and Shi Shi. Shi Shi is down here. Oh yeah, you can see the little outline there. 365 is actually the highest, along with two other ones that also are 365. Get a little bit of money on top as well. Extra little bonus. You got any items you can give me? Fuck me, I've got so many items. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, this will be worth it for one extra food. Again, I don't have that much food, but it's enough. Oh, you actually desperately need want that. Okay, it's even more than... 175, 180, 185, okay, 183 then, fine, 182, you're right, 181, no, okay, it's, it actually is 180, um, yeah, that's pretty good, that's a good deal, I'll take that, I don't think anyone wants to trade with him, you want, look at all my, look at all these people begging for my trade, uh, I don't want to trade with Wang Lang, because he's definitely like one of my potential targets. So Zhang Yan's another 365 one, so we're going to pick that one up. Oof, because yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of rough. That could have been real good, but it wasn't. Have you got any ancillaries? Because that could be real good. Nope. Have you got any, like, have you got lots of money you were willing to give me straight off the bat? Uh, not really, but I'll take a thousand bucks. All right. Um, otherwise it would be how much? Nowhere near as much. Okay, sure. Okay, income is definitely going in the right direction. And then we got one more we can do. I don't know why I acquired so much trade all of a sudden, but... Um, so Wang Lang is the best one, but again, he's one of my next targets. Not for a little while yet, but there's no need to, you know, make him uh, very friendly or anything. So Gong Sun Du makes the most sense in terms of money. 2.5. Let me have a look at what this other guy is now. If that's like... If I can get tons of money from him for whatever reason, then it might be worth doing. But Looks like that's a no. Ah, he's actually going to give me a bonus as well. Fantastic. Can I interest you... Oh wait, hold on. No, those jumps are way too big. I was going to say, can I interest you in some extra mu uh, food as well? But never mind. Wait, can we make it an even 100? Oh, we can make it more than that, actually. Can we make it an even 105? Oh my goodness, that's a big old jump all of a sudden. 102, all right. Uh, how much would you give for the one food, just out of curiosity? 1.5. Oh, nowhere near worth it. All right, sounds good. Income's up to, ah, oh, let's say two grand. Just, oh my goodness, what happened to, why can I make so many deals all of a sudden? Okay. Don't trade your potential foe makes them strong. No, I don't care about that. It's it's more that I would be, I would have a deal with someone that I'm going to be attacking soon. So I have to then break the trade again later on, wait 10 turns, and then I'm allowed to attack them or I'm going to be untrust untrustworthy. And there's no point doing that in that order. Might as well just trade with someone else right away. Um, That's actually not too bad. 55 bucks. You actually want food as well. In fact, you might want to pay me a bunch for this. 
Um, no. I'll do one extra food. That one is always worth way more than the other ones anyway, so. 117. Give me a 120. Let's not kid ourselves, eh? Okay. 118 is the best you can do. I understand. What the? Never mind. Okay, 117 uh, for non-aggression pack with someone I'm not going to go to war for a very long time. Sounds good to me. Then we got Shi Huang. Liu Biao still still waiting for that deal to run out before I make a new one with him. No Wang Lang. Shi Li, definitely not. Han Sui. We, I mean, we already checked that one recently. Definitely not you. Uh, I don't know where you are. Let's have a look. Because you're the guy I just tried to get trade with, I think. And Actually, I did get trade with you, okay. Wait, Zhang? Yeah, Zhang Yang. That helmet there looks way different than the one he has here, but anyway. Han Empire, probably not worth getting deals with him, them either, because they're going to be a potential target of mine. Okay, so Shi Huang, I don't know who you are. Okay, that's not worth doing. Uh, okay. Cao Cao, no, we still got that. Okay, cool. So we're still on two food. We're making a lot more money now. We're still, I mean, that's mostly still diplomacy, but at least we're kind of making it happen over several turns rather than out, all of a sudden, boom, we're going to be bankrupt. That would be bad. Um, he's weakened in money power. He can't recruit units and generals, and he dies more easily. But character leveled up to level 5 and, you, and gave you extra traits. That's only if he's a... Uh, uh that's that's only well first of all that's only judgment um and that's only if he is in uh if he's my heir my faction leader, my prime minister or when i become the um well, if i become an emperor then of course it would count but either way that didn't actually do anything unless somehow there's a hidden mechanic that i wasn't aware of that when strategists level up you get more trade agreements but i'm pretty sure that's not a thing all right, let's get the heck out of Dodge. I do have some money, but I can't spend it on anything unless I want to get that trebuchet now, which I am, again, kind of tempted with. I think for the moment, though, I'm kind of happy with this archer. <sighs> no, yeah, let's get let's get one more archer. Um... Oh, shit, is this a thing that I didn't realize? When Wait, have I... did I not notice that before? Mercenary archers, when you recruit them, they are instantly full because they're mercenaries, I guess? Shit, I didn't realize that was a thing. The fuck? Grand Shooter sees you lose. Oh, right, you're right. We got, special, we got more bonuses. You're right, actually. Hello? What the fuck happened here? I guess the we got pulled into a war or something. But yeah, you're right. Um, we have, like... Yeah. We have like as, but that's a faction-specific thing, right? With um, Sun Tzu. Okay, this uh, this will be rough. It's probably it's it might be winnable. If I had a character here, I'd certainly be okay with it. But without a character, this is going to be tough. Man, I don't know what the fuck. We, okay, we just got the cleric war on, I guess. But which does mean that we can immediately go and attack um, some people. Man, this sucks. If I'd gotten at least a turn warning, I could have recruited a character in here. We would have probably been okay. But without any character, this is rough. It's not a night battle, at least, and they are also coming mostly from here. I don't know where the characters are. I'm guessing they just are in this forest, and I can't quite see them. Kind of odd. They had... Um, the same as me, plus three units. So... That would be a total of... 14 units, so they got 5, 7 here, so they got 7 more over there, including 2 generals. So, that while that looks like there's almost nothing there, there's actually a lot there. Okay, well, only one archer here, that's good. I mean, that's, that's something. Um, uh, how many archers do they even have? God, this sucks. This sucks. If I just have one more turn of warning. 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 Sorry. Um, I'm a, okay, let's put you over here. I wonder if they have fire arrows. They don't. Okay, well that's, that's something at least. Towers are going to be helping me. Okay. I'm just going to set up evenly. Whatever I can spare on either side. It sucks that they're attacking. Like, I mean, on the one hand, it's nice. 
But on the other hand, it sucks that they're attacking from all kinds of different places because it means that once, like, if we do manage to deal with one area before the other, for example, we have the entire map to run across to get, well, the entire town to get a run across to get there, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to put the stakes here, just in case their cab decides to kind of go for a flanking maneuver. Also, I don't know how much the... I think they only had one cab, so I think that's good. I'm going to put this... These flames... Uh, I'm going to put them here. Use them as a last resort, because while they could be really good for this, I feel like I have to defend outside, because they don't have fire arrows. I need to make sure I defend the towers as much as I can. Okay, so I got one extra unit here. I'm gonna put one extra unit here, I think, instead. Because we... Ugh, we have five units of infantry to deal with here. Eh. I could also just try and put... I could put my entire army on one side, try and deal with their one side, and then... move over to the other side. They're gonna get inside, and we have to hold elsewhere where we don't have tower support, but... Honestly, I think that might be a good idea. I think we just abandon one side. Or maybe leave, like, one unit to try and hold them back a little bit. That one unit's gonna be basically it's a sacrifice, though. I think that's not bad, though. We're gonna do that. I mean, I've never tried this before, but I think that might be worth doing. Gives us all the archers on one side as well. This side kind of sucks to defend from, but... Oh, well. Maybe I don't even defend the what? I kind of have to, don't I? So yeah, if I sit like here, then I have I have more space for my archers. Is what I'm thinking. More time for them to do damage as well. But I don't get the help from my fire. In which case, I would put the fire here for sure. I don't get fire arrows though. So I need to be close enough to be able to burn that as well. Um, hmm. What do? So defending inside does make it a little bit easier as well in terms of getting over to the other side. So that's another thing to consider as well. I think I'm just going to defend like this. Put fire on the abandoned side. You know what, that actually is probably not a bad idea. Because then we can just burn that down. And just make their entire army run through it. Whereas in this case, we're going to be fighting as well. All right, and I'll I'll keep the barricades or stakes there because yeah, if they do flank around, you know what? If they end up going around and, and going together, my entire plan is was pointless. All right. Sally out of archers attack the rear, maybe. Okay, one of the characters is a strategist at least, so that's good. Okay, I can actually target these as well specifically, which is good. They have loose formation because they got a strategist there, and it's unfortunate, but so be it. Shooting at generals isn't even that good anymore, so I'm just going to kill as many units as I can. Let's move you back, make their archers go as close as possible before they start firing. Alright. Concentrate your force in the middle. No, that's the whole. That's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying not to do like a big old one v one fight because we're not going to win a one v one fight. We need to make it so that we have we can kill half their army and then gather and kill the second part of the army. That's like the only way we're going to really do anything here. All right, this is all pretty self. You know, it's going to do whatever it's got to do. This is actually something I have to actively do. I got to survive and burn this shit down. Okay, we're out of the unit already. That's something. Maybe the archer as well, I'm not sure. Yes, it was the archer. Come, come, attack me. I did put my least armored unit here, so this is a bit risky. They have two archers here as well. Okay, this is all pretty good. They're walking straight into my trap. Let me actually bring a unit here. If I can, if I can defend those towers, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I kind of want to wait until like a lot of shit's in there, but let's just try and chuck it now. I do actually need to make sure it gets done. Which currently it isn't. Cause I've done this before where I did it when I was already in combat and that seemed to work. 
Right now it isn't though. Fuck, I should have done it sooner! No, my into oh god, if I could burn it right now, I could kill so many men. Come on. I could try and like make them move forward. But my morale's already uh oh, we're gonna fucking break before I, I even get a chance here. God damn it. I've done this before where I, I burned it after I was already in melee. Oh, there's so much burning I could be doing right now. I can't even select it anymore now, there's too many men on it. Fuck it, well, we're holding. You need to get in there. I should have done that sooner as well. Okay, let's get two more units over here, because I think we're actually going to be able to do this, but... Then again, we haven't really done that much damage yet, to be honest. They're still holding, so, you know, kudos... Okay, never mind. They have six morale, but they did break. Not sure why. Okay, there goes that guy. Let's uh, form some lines, shall we? Definitely want to sit out here. Well, that's a mistake I'm not going to make again, I'll tell you. God, we're not doing that well here. I'm going to turn my... God, no, I have to keep firing in here. Just do some high arcing shots. Now we're being shot to pieces. Are you going to come back anytime soon, please? Okay. We're breaking them, but it's not good enough. Okay, let's have you turn around. You as well. Let's have the rest of our ammo. Okay, you've come back from routing. Good. Go kill those archers for me if you wouldn't mind. Sumi is going around this way as well. Actually, just start firing whenever you can. Oh god, an actual formation would be nice though, Jesus. You're out of ammo. Let's get you in here. Okay, you've gone kind of crazy, so why don't you keep that craziness going. I'm gonna send you back this way. Maybe even hold the line here, because it looks like they're going around. Okay, this guy's trying to- oh, fuck me, okay, that's annoying. Uh, try and come back this way, if you wouldn't mind. Taking a lot of damage here. Towers are firing, we're in the back here. Okay, actually, let's get you in here as well. Archers aren't, you know, melee combatants. May as well send them in where they can just to get the morale debuff. Yeah, this arm this unit's gone a bit mental here. Those towers okay, the towers are mine again, that's pretty good. Shoot those archers actually. This unit's routed, but it's just kind of standing there still. It's weird. Okay, you're out of ammo as well. Let's get you over here. Oh, they're coming over now and attacking us in the rear. They're still firing. Definitely did a bunch of damage to them. That's good. Their archers are running low on ammo too. We've routed the unit there. Fantastic. I could try and run this unit back, but let's just leave them in there. Sacrificial unit. Okay. Get over and help them. Sure, that's fine. The archers out of ammo as well now. Let's get you guys over here too. I need to have you hold this line again because that unit's actually kind of dying. They're not going to last much longer. Quite, 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 my boys. Kind of tempted to run this unit around, but I don't know if that's worth doing since we only have so many units here. Okay, that general's taking a bit of, bit of a beating right now. Let's get another. Ugh. I want to get one of these guys out of here. Let's get you out of here and bring you over here instead. You and you can take them out. And then there's these two units as well. Once we finally break them again, get back and attack them. Free morale. Um, okay, I don't have to hold a line here anymore, so let's get you in there as well. We're still holding the towers, so that's important. Just fire whatever you want to fire at. Ooh, that unit's come back from routing now. Um... Yeah, still go this way. It's fine. We have two units here. It's fine. I mean, this is only one guy anyway. I mean, most of the units are actually somewhere else. I don't know where it is. It might be stuck in here, to be honest. Okay, we're doing good damage to that general. Okay, that's where the action is right there. Oh, wait, no. Is it this one? No. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's right here. Okay, gotcha. They're about to ride as well. Oof, so are we. 
Get in there. Push. Nice, you come back from running again. Let's get you in the back. That would be fantastic. It's going to take a while to get over there, but still. God, can you guys ride already? Two and four morale. Come on. I gotta be lucky my unit hasn't ride yet, to be fair, but still. Attack them. Okay. You need to get in there as well. Oh, we routed one. Good, good. Hopefully that will cause a bit of a mass route. You're about to come in the, in, come in the rear. Oh, yes. This unit is getting pretty low. You guys are almost routed, but you managed to shatter them. Good, so let's get inside the town. Don't route, please. They're on minus six. They're on zero. God damn it, these are both going to route. You've won the battle, but now because they're no, they have no longer got a target, they actually route. Okay, you getting in the back there helps. Routed them. Attack that one. Attack that one. Oh my god, I'm trying to click one specific unit here. Is it possible? That one. There you go. Okay, there's a general coming the other way now with some friends. Archer friends, though, so not too bad. But this guy didn't route yet. He, he was on zero morale. I'm, he must have regained morale. And the archer actually managed to make its way in as well. Nice, we routed this general now. Good, let's get you over here. Attack her, please. And the two archers, you can go kill your friends. The other archers. Oh god, you guys are on the full-on offensive here. Alright, I think we managed to do it. That was uns that was surprising. I was... I almost said unsurprising, but it, no, it was surprising. Do you defend the, this place here? Okay, this guy's coming from routing, annoyingly. Let's get one of these spears this way. They had Wisdom of the River as well, that could have been really annoying. Oh, and she's unbreakable, shit. We actually have to kill her, which I'm sure is going to be doable, because, you know, it's only a strategist, but still. Right, we took these towers back as well, so they're shooting again. Good, good. Okay, make sure she doesn't take the towers, although she's just running in circles. Apparently. Okay, don't get routed. Come here. What? Okay, I need some units to come back. Damn it. Come back this way. There's too much. Or this way, I don't care. Just come some way. They've even wisdom of the river. No, they're gonna route, damn it. Kill this guy. 6.7k. 6.5. He's almost routing again. He's on minus morale. 5.1k. Yeah, he's getting killed pretty rapidly. This unit's shattered. Okay, just this one general now. He's gonna be running circles around me for decades. 3.2, 2.9. He's routing. He's trying to route. He's gonna succeed at routing. He's routed. Towers might take him out, though. 2.3k. We got lucky. Alright, well, this woman's just gonna be running forever. There's not really much I can do about this. I guess I stand on the point, make the timer run out. <laughs> nice, he did die yeah, there. Sweet. Oh, and he's, she's gone mad. Fuck, okay, this works too, I guess. Nice, that worked out pretty well. She was big old friends with that guy. Yeah, she's getting fucking slaughtered. Alright, she's unbreakable, so she's gonna die too. Sweet! That went better than expected. I'll take it. It's a shame uh, the Pyrrhic victory, uh, whatever. It's a shame the the fire didn't work out because that could have that could have certainly helped a lot. I think you know, seeing as how we won it like this, if we did have the fire burning, you know, a hundred men down or something, that could have could have been pretty damn good. All right, see you later. Was it worth losing two of your characters over that? I still don't know why they attacked me to be to begin with, but. If only I had a character, I could just chase him right now. Oh, that's so much stuff still surviving, though. That's problematic. Thanks. <laughs> I'm off for a bath. Cheers. Say hi to Rubber Ducky. Southside declared one, you want Shao. You want Shu declared one. Ah, I see. You want Shu. You're trying to fuck me, is it? Are you even? Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> it's not even. Because that's this person, right? And they, di this faction is a vassal to them. So how am I not at war with them? But I am at war. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so they liberated Hua. Sh oh, that's really good. Oh, and they declared war me as well. They liberated Hua Xin and that faction. Okay, so they liberated both. So they're no longer vassals of each other. So I can attack them one at a time now. So that's good. Um. I still don't quite know... Wait, that's really weird, right? Okay, so... 
My vassal master, Yuan Shu, declared war on this guy, who had two vassals underneath him. Right? Hua Xin and the guy who just attacked us, who is now a different name, but whatever. Two vassals underneath him. That guy liberated those two vassals, which means Yuan Shu and myself, because I, you know, as a vassal, I guess I would join, or maybe not automatically, but either way, we should be at war with that person, with, with her, but not with the two vassals, because the vassals were liberated, right? But somehow, I'm at war with the two vassals, but not with the vassal master. How does that even work? I have no, I, I honestly don't know. Nice, we got a, oh my god. That's not a fucking random exquisite weapon. That's a pretty good weapon. 15 resolve, 15 cunning. It's a bit of a weird one, actually. It attacks really fast. It has good base damage, but shit, armor piercing. Well, kind of, it's okay, armor piercing. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, look a gift legendary item in the horse, though. That's pretty good. Okay, we can switch this over now. Can't demolish that. Guess it's gonna get demolished automatically once I remove this. Hello, Dash. Um, okay, so yeah, I guess we're gonna attack here now because we've already dealt with this army for the most part. It's gonna come back. I may have to recruit someone in here after all because my garrison's a bit fucked. I mean, their army's a bit fucked as well, so it's more fucked than my garrison. So we should be all right, but still. Give that to Zhu Yu. That feels like a massive waste giving him a legend. I mean, 15 cunning, I, I understand why you're saying that, but that I, I'm not gonna give a legendary sword to, to Zhu Yu. I'd rather give it to someone who actually... I'm not going to give it to these guys, even if they can't can use it, which they can't. He can't. Uh, I'll give it to um, to a, uh, a champion or a sentinel. Um, like Tai Chi Chi. He's a great one with his extra cunning and everything. And his breath and wind bow. This is actually his wind. His, his wind. This is his bow. don't know why I haven't got it equipped on him, but probably because I'm not using him right now. Uh, but I might do. I might recruit him in here real soon, because I need my boy to go deal with this. Anyway, so yeah, you guys are just going to go take this copper mine then, because I'm a war with this faction. I might as well, you know, make use of this. Um, I could go straight to the livestock farm, because my... Well, actually, no, yeah, we're not in a rush now to go that way. So yeah, we have all the time in the world to go take this copper mine, then the livestock farm. And then I, I might peace out with them, because I don't, I don't really want to go this way and take that town there. Let's go this way for now anyway, there's no, no need to do anything else. Although, I suppose if I could reach that next turn regardless, then I think I'll just sit in my own territory here. Although I'm not 100% sure if I could reach, so I don't know if I want to take the risk. Uh, I'll not take the replenishment and make sure I can definitely get there next turn. What kind of garrison you got in these places? Okay, that's a livestock farm is trash, and copper mine also trash. Those are two auto resolves, that's good. Okay, well, let me just see. Okay, I can't... Hold on, I can't peace out with you, because you're... Because my vassal master declared war. Is that why... What the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, there's no peace I can do whatsoever. There's a whole bunch of other deals I can do now. This, this list is not bugged for some reason. It's really annoying. It happens all the time now. It's been happening for a while. Let's see, I need to get out of diplomacy and then do it again. And then they're all in the right order again. Alright, Jufu, how the fuck are you? Not worth it. Um, maybe. It's across the river, so. I'm not too fussed about this. Um, I mean. 95 bucks for an aggression pact. It's across the river, so I'm not planning on taking that anytime soon, so I guess I will. Probably best to raise a small army lead in case it's efficient. Yeah, yeah, I will. That's what I said. Oh, and this faction who pieced out with like everyone in the world recently, but they don't want to pay me, so fuck them. Songba. Right, you did want this, but you were not willing to give me much money. No, only insta money. Alright, Liu Biao. Still got money coming from you. There might be another D or two that's run out since, but it's okay. Alright, let's raise a small force here. Taishi Chi is free, because I have no units in there. Um, I think, honestly, just him probably would be enough. 
give him a bow as well. Does he have Halo of Arrows already? In which case it would... Oh yeah, okay. I give, if I just recruit him in there, give him his, uh, his bow. You know what? Here, take this sword as well while we're at it. Um, yeah, that should just uh, make him absolutely demolish these people. In fact, I honestly think I could probably send them 1v1. Although, no, no. Well, probably still yes, although uh, Halo Virus has been nerfed now to a maximum use of 4. So it is actually not as overpowered as it used to be. But it's still damn strong. Damn strong. Right, I can't build anything because I'm building something everywhere already. So that's all good. Still got a whole bunch of pissed off peeps. But not pissed off enough to be really too worried. Although Lua Jun is getting awful pissed off now. Um, my guy, I have no items for you whatsoever. I can give you a. I can give you something else. Fucking hell, Tai Chi Chi, why are you so pissed off? You don't even need this, do you? Are you like. You're honorable, so you have reduced penalty, but not like. You're not humble or something. Yeah, because I feel like if I take him out and just put in someone who really needs it, like Lurjun or something, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, a free to a rank free to base effects to the ministerial positions are applied to rank five. Okay, so why? Oh, the base is discipline. Okay, um, administrators. Okay, so there there are five free people at level four right now, so they gain one more rank. We're gonna get some bonuses. Character salary. Should put someone else in there and he's got the extra trade agreements okay gotcha gotcha okay i really do want to get higher this is second marquee marquee second marquee second marquee marquee okay so we need to get the second marquee to get a whole bunch more sounds good let's go make lady will your air nope I know my problem, I don't, it's not really a problem though, and I don't want to make Lady Evil my heir, it costs a lot of money, it's just, I don't, it feels, it doesn't feel good for me. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I can give them titles, but it costs money, I'm trying to save money. Like, unless they get to, you know, minus five. There's not really a huge thing I need to be worried about. The little conqueror. Deploy five commanders. Oh, I'm guessing... Oh, sweet. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the five jewels, which to be fair, I don't have won a single one yet. I'm guessing it just means commander is in, like, a leader of an army, like a commanding general. That's weird, but okay. Uh, oof, Shang Hong. Okay, but never mind. He, we already had him available. We don't want him. Or maybe that was his brother, but again, we're going to get him for free later on. No point paying for him right now. Especially if I'm not planning on using him yet. Uh, okay, we can do assignments, which I will want to do here. Got plenty of stuff to build here, so we'll put Lu Meng back in there. Right. I think this is crazy, but do you want to go chase them? I mean, it'd be an auto so I imagine it's not going to be in my favor, is it? No, definitely not. The game doesn't consider Hail of Arrows. Just him on, on like one ship, sailing by him, like a rowboat, fucking chasing them up. Come back here! Um, okay, I'll keep you there for now, because it's free to keep you. Um, I'm not going to give you an army yet, though, because we're not that rich. You are going to go take this copper mine. Delegate that. Alright, I need to check what kind of reward I got for um, deploying five commanders. Defiant. Right. Uh, the little conqueror, I think it's called. Must have gone past it. There, there, there it is. Uh, we got five reckless luck and then one minus one mustering turns. Okay. Sounds good. Level one copper mine. Absolutely rank. What are we at now? 20, 20, 10, 10, 16. Alright, I'm going to give you a, a small roll just to make you a little bit happier. What are you saying? You're my new patrol commander. Oh, doesn't that sound cool, Lurjun? A, a, a new title for you? Oh boy, how very exciting, wouldn't you say? Alright. Um, we're going to go to the livestock forum next. Yeah, definitely can't reach that in a single turn. Although, here's the problem, right? If I can't peace out with him myself, 
I might need to go to the lumberyard first, because if I go here... It's annoying, isn't it? Also, because my vas my uh, vassal master, you want to shoot declared you want yeah you want to declare war on this guy, but I need this town like desperately for my reckless luck to go up. So I I really can't let him take that. So that's another thing I need to consider. But yeah, I think we have to go to the lumber yard first. It's going to take me a long time to do all that, but because I can't peace out. Um, let's see if I got anything else I can do. So much this stuff available. We're gonna wait until that runs out. So next turn I gotta make a new deal with Liu Biao. I got five food, which means some do some deals are running out, but we're doing okay. You could delegate battle with yeah, I heard about that. There's some kind of weird uh Yeah, he's broken. I saw some I saw like a picture uh or image screenshot whatever you want to call it someone made a like an auto resolve of him and he just beat an army by himself Satsa requested Liu Bao to, Liu Bao to join the war okay Satsa commander Vassal to join the war Liu Bu from the coalition Yuan Shao Yuan Tan is gone there he is unfavored son how sad and Lian Yu Ting Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You think I'm interested in you? Get out of here. Build a land registry office. Fan bloody tastic. Uh, let's go for this. Why not? Building our food back up again nicely. Wait, hold on. What was that? One of our um, relations went away with Yun Bai He. Is it because he's dead? Is that the reason why the relationship is no longer... Sufficient. Okay, right, so our income dropped by a thousand, so let's get a deal with Liu Biao again. What do you say to paying me a fuck ton of money for this? Actually, how much is military access? 4.4. Okay, now we're starting with this. Oh, yeah, this is good. Do you need food as well? You have four food. Oh, I can pop in some food as well, why don't we? Alright, here's some food. Six food for a. Good amount of money. Um, let's say like, God, there's some big jumps. Okay, so eleven hundred and eight bucks for six food and non-aggression. I mean, that's pretty good, right? If I lowered food, so one food currently point five would be. Wait, hold on. Fuck me, it's like I'm being confused right now. What do we have right now? Um Okay, so like ten ninety? How much was that? For eleven was it eleven oh two? Oh shit. Uh no. Eleven Wait, what the What was I oh no it was um oh eight. Okay, yes, I am back. Okay. Right, I can drop food a little bit because those are big old fucking jumps. I still get a thousand bucks. Okay, yeah, so I can I can do like a thousand ten or something. Fuck me, I can't type. Oh my god! Oh wait, that's because it's the wrong fucking number again. What am I doing right now? Okay, fifteen. Yeah, that's probably worth doing. Yeah, like we give him four less food or something, and we get or five less food, and we get a hundred bucks less. Yeah, it's not really worth it. All right. Uh, any other deals I really want to... I guess he wants to do military access as well, right? So why don't we do that too? I mean, he's still rich as hell. Let's get a whole bunch more money from that as well. Not too bad. I can give him... Oh, no, I can't give him any more food, so this is actually it. Man! Fuck me! I'm glad I decided to do this. Holy shit, this guy's rich! Liu Biao does seem to do quite well in this uh, World Betrayed campaign, so maybe this is the one where you want to play him. He also ends up being quite old, I think, in every campaign, because he just doesn't fucking die. Alright, another 6. Can we get 30? It's a nice even number. No, fine. 628 for another military access as well. Um, honestly, it would be almost worth giving him like a random weapon for a whole bunch more money. Let me just let me just see. Just out of curiosity, how much would that be? So 628 right now. Let's remember that number. 
Oh man, yeah, I think I give. I think giving him one of these items is uh, worth doing. We're getting six twenty-eight. It was right, so we're getting almost. Well, we're getting like an extra five hundred bucks per turn for one item, one silver item, but still. Uh, what was it? Thirty-three. All right. Yep, that looks like a pretty good deal to me. There's a war axe for you. Enjoy. All right, now we're making free ground a turn. Good stuff. Still got a bunch of money as well. Cool. Donkey likes to follow the game story as closely as he can. Can't knock that. Yes. It's also why I don't want to make Lady Wu my vassal. Or my vassal, my heir, because Sun Chuan is my heir. He's almost coming of age anyway. No need to worry. Okay, so we're going to go this way first. That's just uh, something we got to do. Okay, the army is there as well. It's a shit army, so it works out. Is this like a low level as well? Yep. Shit garrison should be easy fight. I wonder if I should have moved a little bit less far and tried to make an ambush. Might have been worth doing, but oh well. Okay. Um, I could even afford to get this guy a bit of a garrison as well. Or a bit of a, an actual army. Can I compare these two? They do more charge bonus, they, they attack faster, they do less ar uh, base damage, more armor piercing damage, they have 14% less melee evasion, same armor. Slightly best armor. Uh, ugh, okay, more range block protection, but less melee. Yeah, I think I still prefer Jian Sword Guards in this case. To be honest, I don't want offensive units. I want I want a unit that's as defensive as they come, which is the Jian Sword Guards. So we're still gonna get these guys, but I don't need to spend that right now. I can always do that later. Although the nice thing about the mercenary ones is if they if you need them in a pinch, I guess if they come in full strength, that's something. Did he run away? That could actually be really annoying. Because if I have to go chase him, that's going to make me go even further away from where I want to go. And in the meantime, we're halfway to death right now. So that's our request to leave you out during the war. Faction succession on. No, what? Huang, Xu... Huang Fu Song is already dead? Liu Shang confederated Zhang Lu. Okay. Annexation, holy shit, you don't see that very often for the AI. Nice. Nice. What was this? Holy fuck. Xiao Miao. Yeah, he's unique. That's what I thought. He's not very good though. Actually, he's pretty decent. Um, no one very interesting there, no. A wooden fish. Great. Alright, so they want upgrades now to get better um, get our garrison. I think that's probably worth doing. Right, we're going to take the Lumberyard. There's the army right there. At least I can not resolve this one. Keep an eye on your master. You want to take Jianyu Town as well as Poyang Town. What? Uh, oh, here, yeah. But I don't, don't even know if they're at war. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, that could be problematic. We can always declare war on him. Cheng Pu. Okay, so we got another bonus from that. Although I think that was actually just... Um, yeah, next administrator. Which actually is pretty good. Because that means I can put someone who's super unhappy. Like Luo Jin. He's the most unhappy one. He's actually a fairly decent administrator as well. So I'm actually going to do that. Right away. I can only put you in Poyang though. Which is going to have copper mine. Iron mine. Yeah, that's actually going to be quite rich. I'll put you in there. It's gonna cost me some money right now, but at least he's happy, and I can give you a rank. So yeah, that buff's really good. F makes him a lot better, especially with this weapon, which already has pretty good melee attack rate. I think we're gonna go for that. Let's be honest, that's pretty good. Uh, we got a red furrow bread. Okay, still only have only have one army, so not too interesting. That's gotta go to level three. I like having constant money in reserve. Like, we're out of money now. Hopefully, he just kind of... I don't know what he's going to do. Like, who are you at War of the Han Empire? You're not. So, what is his plan, then? I have no idea. Is he going to try and run home? That'd be great. Okay. What's this? What's this, Dad? I think we're going up here. So, 10% income from all sources. I... 
did unlock this now, so I could go for the food, but food's not really an issue, and it probably won't be for a while, so let's go that way. Okay, glad I didn't record this unit's last turn. Oh yeah, he's actually going there. Fuck. You little fuck. Can I? I mean, almost certainly not, but I do wonder. Oh man, I maybe could. Okay. Um... Can I do a war target with him? No. Because he might be going there, right? So what I'm thinking is I just fucking run him. Because it looks like I can reach there next turn. However, the problem is that that's with moving into this territory. So I I would be trespassing. Which, or that doesn't, actually doesn't matter. It's the fact that... Um, oh man, I can get all the way over there. Holy shit, I can go far. Like if I can get, if I can besiege that, and then he arrives at the same turn, it's so risky though because if <laughs> if he doesn't show up, then if he's like, okay, well I can't take this anymore, there's no point. Then all of a sudden I just have him by himself besieging that. Do it, Taichi Chi is just by himself. I could do this I, one of two ways. I could uh, do this through land, or I can actually do it. I can go in the water. And I can still, I can probably, I'm pretty sure I can land and attack in the same turn. As long as I stay away from that army. But what I'm thinking is, if they can get up to here, if I just sprint up to there. But the water one is, I don't have to trespass for. Do we hate each other? Yeah, we're not very happy with each other, let's put it that way. But if you want to attack me, you'd be going to war with my vassal master as well, which you probably don't want to do. So I think we could probably fairly safely trespass. You need a second army. That's not my point, though. My point is, I besiege it, and then this army joins in and stands next to me. That's what that's what the hope would be. But whether that would happen or not, I do not know. But I've, I'm willing to give that a try. So you can go up to there. I'm going to do the trespassing way, because I'm pretty sure over land I can guarantee that I can get there in time. Okay, there. So we move up to there. Souls. Yeah, she, it looks like he should, she shouldn't be able to reach me there. If she does and he dies, then hey, so be it. Uh, this army can actually attack in the same turn as well, I'm pretty sure. But let's just see what happens. I can't get there in a single turn, so there's no, you know point even considering that all right should have grabbed Zhang Ye poor young they are two of the best <sighs> I didn't have a choice though it's you guys always magically think I can just summon an army somewhere just take a town like it doesn't work that way Tan Ying Long what the fuck is that this faction here oh I do want to join that actually not right I mean I prefer not doing it yet because I need to get my army in position but if you're willing to pay me a bunch of money for that, then I'm willing to make an exception. I'm not gonna run out of luck. It'll be fine. Uh, I wonder if I could actually. You guys, you guys always talk to me as if I've never played this game before or something. I'm like, I wonder if I could ask this, or even liberate. Actually, I could ask that liberation. I don't really want to ask for liberation yet. Um, I also got to remember there's that thing I can ask him like can I join can I declare war on someone and then more often than not they're like fucking yes go for it and then they're willing to pay me for it or even give me territory but I think 670 bucks right now is better than granting autonomy they could end my campaign by doing that but anyway sounds good have you got any uh, ancillaries actually What is the, uh, oof, 7.7, .7, my god. 6.70. 6.70, okay, got extra, almost 300 bucks for that. That's not bad. From our regular income, they will receive 7.7. .7. No, wait, what? A eight legitimacy, there you go. That's what I was looking for. They get eight legitimacy. 
Um, I don't think I care. He's fucking rich in both things. Holy shit. Apparently, 11th food is rich. So am I rich as well? I got 13. I'm oh, sorry, no, he's got 13. I got 11. Anyway, um, yeah. It's good money. Oh, he went there. Okay, so he's not in position to help me out anymore. Fuck, he's going the wrong way. That's so annoying. I can't really do much about that. I just have to let him... I can't chase him. It's going to take fucking forever. Hang Huangzu declared war on Li Biao. Oof. Those are your lines over there. In the north. Uh, be a war of that person. And Legacy of Wood. Start to have a character with more than 160 expertise. Okay. Get some more reckless luck from that or something. I guess that's already happened. Or maybe it was a different reward. I don't know. Lufan. Luf. Oh, you're my... Okay. Administrator. Uh, the, that gives more income from industry. Do we have any industry here? We have zero industry. So that's not too relevant right now. Building... Um, yeah, put it for food, why not? Well, I might need my money for something else, to be honest. Here, yes, definitely want to upgrade it, because this is a shit garrison right now. Okay, you're gonna stop this plan, I'm afraid, because I can't rely on him to attack there anymore, I don't think. If I besiege right now, and they sally out when this army isn't in position to help me out, I don't know what their plan is. Are they trying to, planning on crossing somewhere? Like, where would they even be? All the way over here? They could have just landed, though. Like, I don't know what their plan is. Uh, can I give you a target now? Oh, I guess I can't do that. Damn. Okay, so what's the situation here? Can I re Okay, I definitely can't reach that army. If I run away, they're just going to go back and take this, I imagine. So I have to recruit someone in here. We can never afford to recruit someone in here. In fact, we can afford like a second army at this point although that's mostly because of diplomacy yeah still more than our income right now like all of our income plus something else is all diplomacy i could definitely get a trebuchet in here that's for sure all right let's pop someone in here shall we uh oh boy i'm broke right let's cancel that building then this one not too important that who we're we gonna get in here who are we going to call? Lua Jun. What have we got against us? Uh, Sentinel. It's the most important part of that. Um, I could recruit two people. You're pretty trash, aren't you? What is your ability? That's important. Undying Vow. Can use if an, of all oaths sworn alive. Oh, right. It heals him a bunch. But it loses. Okay, that's really fucking weird you have final rush you mean final trash you got final trash as well lady Wu, what do you got trash okay Lua Jun, and i think it's definitely you i'm going to be recruiting here because my god those are some terrible fucking abilities um i guess i still want a vanguard don't i so i'll get you in here i think um i guess show me your okay you got yeah you've got legendary armor what about you tie he's got legendary too Melee attack rate charge bonus. Yours gives you melee armor piercing damage and scare for the retinue. Sure, we'll take that. More useful. Alright. Those two characters should be able to handle this. Garrison's gonna be yeah, pretty much dead. But he's gonna take at least a turn to get to me. He can't attack me this turn. So that's fine. You've already got some items. Here's a fish. And here's a... Here's a spear for you. Why not? And a horse. Because I'm that fucking charitable. Okay. Uh, and you... You're going to stay here. In ambush stance. I want to see what he does. Before I make any kind of decisions on going back or whatever. Uh, I don't know what upgrade that. Okay. Right. So we're off to take the livestock farm. Hopefully we can reach that next turn. I'm not sure though. Then we're going to run as fast as fuck over here. That's going to get us two more Reckless Luck per turn, at which point we'll be on minus five per turn. Uh, let's see it here. Yeah. And then we got to take this, and we got to take that, and then we'll be on minus one per turn. 
Oh boy. Um, yeah. Right, what was the reward for... We did something recently. Don't know what it was again. Are we gonna get... We gonna get plus one for that. We gotta do those jewels as well at some point soon. Uh, oh yeah, we got one for character. This one. Uh, okay, that was just five reckless luck. Okay. Uh, have 160 or more instincts, resolve, authority, cunning, or expertise. Have a character. Doesn't say it can't be Sunse. What is Sunse at right now? 157. God damn, he's so close. Um, is anyone else like actually really close? You are. Well, you, that's the one that we've already completed, I guess. Shu Yun or Shu? Yeah, Shu Yun is your ten points away. Okay. Need like a horse or something for him. There's not really much else I can do to increase that except skills, which I guess next time he levels up, he's gonna get eight. All right, cool. Uh, Calm. Well, I don't want to build that. Let's get the fudge out of here. They're on their way back to the fishing port. Oh shit. Ma Tong signed peace. Gong Shenzhen signed peace. War, war. Shi Shi commander Vassal to Shi Yi to join a war. Okay. And Shi Wu. The madness of Yuan Shu. Oh shit, is this. Ah, we're rebelling. Oh fuck me. Oh fuck me. That would be really bad right now. Um. Plus five reckless luck per turn for five turns, though. Dissatisfaction. Okay, we can't even really handle that. Yep, uh, we're rebelling. That's going to increase our income. Only barely, though. All right. We are... We are. Yeah, we're at war as well. It's kind of weird. It doesn't actually say you go to war with someone. Although, I suppose declaring independence automatically means you go to war. But still. All right. Um... More independence was de declared. Interesting. Since I declared war. Alright, cool. Let's get the fuck home, shall we? Comp besieges this now, that's for damn sure. There's an army here, an army there. Oh man, I need to recruit an army in here. Sooner rather than later. Can't recruit anyone right now, though. Who's this? Yan Pe. Get out of my face. Don't need you. Can have to afford an army, though. So we're 100% of the time going to do that next turn. We're going to just recruit an insta full stack and I'm not gonna spend much money I do I really do want to operate that though the army from here it looks like it fucked off do I want to get rid of these guys because I might want to get them in there well I don't need Lua Jun in there I might want to get one guy in there okay first of all can we reach this livestock farm we definitely can't that is unfortunate go level up a Lu Meng uh, you are going to go for Let's go this way. Okay, who would I get in here? Because we we definitely get <coughs> Lu Fan. Because he's our only other administrator. You are not a level up. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Okay, you are incredibly unhappy. Right, you're getting a roll. Uh, you are now my attendant. Congratulations on the promotion. You know what? You want to wanna have something a little bit hot. You want, you're my senior officer, actually. I, I was joking. Wow, well, I was not crazy. Okay, uh, when is Sun Tzu come, or Sun Xuan coming of age? You are 17, alright, a couple turns away. Good shit. Yeah, I'd like to build this, but I really do need a lot of money next turn, so I'm gonna have to, well, I guess I'll, I'll start it, but I'm probably gonna cancel it. Okay, so I think I do want to put one guy, as he's like the next best character I have, the next best vanguard, or like cavalry commander anyway. I do think I want to have him in this army, so I'm probably gonna remove him here. Um, yeah, I'll let me keep those units. Let me see what actually you could recruit just out of curiosity. Um, you can get the handmade guard, but they're pretty expensive for what they are. Alright, let's just recall you. And since that army from here isn't actually on its way back, I'm probably just gonna. I'll keep him here with these two units, but I'm not gonna recruit anyone else in here. Okay, so I know who we're going to go put in here, and then I can't recruit anything right now, as long as we don't get attacked this turn. She can reach, but 
he might also not even come this way. But either way, if we get like a full stack, if we get one turn replenishment, we're probably already okay. Right, uh, lovely. Is that other legendary guy still available? Yeah, he is actually. Wow, no one's picked him up yet. Crazy. Isn't there an assignment to boost satisfaction? Well, I only have one assignment available. Uh, I don't even know. I don't think we have that. Unless it's this one. I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, let's end turn. At least we have a bunch of reckless luck happening now, which means we're actually on minus two per turn only. Not too shabby. Can handle that for a little bit longer. Ooh, many faces, many names. Achievement. Uh, give out five titles to five different characters. Wow, I didn't do that in the Lubu campaign. What the fuck? All right, he's willing to give me four grand for me to become his vassal now. Wow, from one owner to another. His brother as well, his older brother. Um... Uh, I think I'm okay, thank you. Let me see how much money you'll be willing to pay me. Just, just out of cur you know, just a curious man. Okay, that's not nowhere near enough. Get out of here. Get my face. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of my face. Okay, you want to shoot just took that? Okay, he is on the way. So you might attack me this coming turn. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> you may have to deal with that. That's very good. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely time for that second army right now. Oof, the road to power. Uh, oh my god, Shu Chu is the faction leader in this faction. No, wait. He's not. That's... Wait, did he die again? What happened there? Uh, okay. Defeat two armies from him. And we get... Oof, we got a whole bunch of stuff. That's pretty good. Two armies or garrisons. We can do that. Have no vessel master. Haha, step one. Okay. That's probably giving me a bunch more uh, stuff as well. That's the one at the bottom. 25 prestige and 5 reckless luck per turn. Okay, so we're actually pretty close to second marquee. Yeah, we're 11 points away. That's very good. We're going to take this town right now. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, I, I might need to recruit something in there then, but we'll, we'll see. We also got the garrison re replenished now. And it's going to be upgrade, although the upgrade isn't going to do shit. Unless I get it to the next level after that. Zheng Zhang, there she is. And Zhao Du, who's this guy? He's just a generic with some cool looking armor. Zheng Zhang is going to be joining the faction though, most certainly. Let's get her in immediately. Oof, she might be super unhappy though. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep her happy. I may have to hold off a turn. We'll have a look. If I can get the second marquee, we'll be totally fine. But she, I need to not have her picked up by someone else. Until I get the second marquee. This livestock farm is going to get me part of the way there, but... We disappeared. What the hell? This will give me, what, like... Five or ten? That's, uh... Five, yeah. So we still need... Six points. Oof, another... Wow, some good items. Some crazy items in this campaign so far. Okay, well, let's recruit a fucking army, shall we? Um, let's get some characters in first. So we want to get one guy. They like each other too. Perfect. And I'm, let's hope that... Yeah, they all like Lufan. No, only one guy likes Lufan, but that's okay. All right. Let me just pop everything in. Ooh, unless I... Oof, this might be the one time where getting insta full units might be worth doing. Definitely want to get the mercenary archers, so that's not... Oh, God, we're broke. Okay, hold on. Let's cancel all this. I did not consider the fact that I was that close to being broke. I am build. Oh, right, yes, because I was building that, and I, I was going to cancel that. Okay, we're good. But I do think having full units right away is actually... Oh, well, I... I guess we got that. <laughs> That's... Um, mercenary archers. And then I do want to get some more cav if I can get it. Uh... We got mercenary count to level five, I guess. That's unfortunate because they could have, they would have been full, and they actually probably are better as well. Okay, we can get at least that, and I guess I can replace these as well with mercenary. Can we? Yeah, we can. We're almost broke immediately. That is a very expensive army. Let's be honest. Almost free ground. 
but it's almost full, minus these six units, so we're gonna be, even if he attacks me right away, we're gonna be fine. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change anything. Okay, cool. That worked out pretty well. And we get the garrison, so if he does attack me here, he's fucked. So he's not going to attack me here. He's either going to fuck off. He probably is kind of unhappy with the fact that he just saw an entire army sp spring up out of nowhere. Like, hey, how's it going? I'm here now. Okay. So... Administration office would be great to get me closer. I really do want to rank up soon. Because... That's going to make me recruit Sheng Zhang. And, of course, I get loads of other, you know, all my happiness problems are just going to disappear instantly. That'd be pretty good. Uh, I have 16 food. Let's go sell some of that while we're here. Also, any other deals I can make? Shoot, shoot. Yeah, he is the owner of the faction, even though it doesn't really say it. Uh, I thought I already had... Oh, yeah, I have... Okay, I got another question with him. That was from military access. I can become a vassal. Nah, I'm good, though, I think. Offer to cooperate? Are you going to give me more money? Oh my god, what is this? Oh, yeah, right, that's becoming a vassal. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, what um, might I expect in return for some kind of such kind of, such a deal? Oh, he's, he's already giving us so much money, it's not going to be much. But yeah, let's not, let's not do that. Peace out with... Uh, oh, I can peace out. Okay, I can peace out with him. That's pretty good. I can get rid of someone then. I don't want to peace out with you. I don't want to be at war with you, so I... Happily peace out of you? Sure. Um, have you got any ancillaries? No. Have you got some money for me? Yes, you do. Um, I have some food for you. Oh, not 16 though. Let's not uh, kid ourselves here. I do have... I have some. Probably not much though. Let me just give you one. Two and a half. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm not going to get much for that food to be honest. So let's just give him one her 166 for peace and food all right deal shake that hand uh don't want to peace out with anyone else i do possibly want to sell some more food get military access of you that is sure i'll take that 118 bucks do you need some food sir because i happen to have some food with your name on it. Okay, I, don't, I, have, I have only one food with your name on it, let's be honest, but it's your name after all, so. Uh, yeah, I'll take that deal as well. You share. Oh, right, yes, I need to use share experience. I'm pretty sure it's almost full, isn't it? Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Let me have a look, actually, because it was... Yeah, it's on 99. That's actually the max. So it, it must have maxed out this turn or lost turn, though, because I did notice it before. All right, so what's the best kind of deal I can get? Uh, you get, like, until level 8, we don't get a new bonus, so... Um, it has to be one of these people that's already in office and already happy, because I don't want to make him more pissed off again. So, Huang Gai. Are you, like, humble or something? Anything good to reduce penalty? Yeah, that's good. So I can share XP's with him, although... No, I don't have any commanders in my faction, unfortunately. Because I could, I should really use it to upgrade people who are between a certain age. But the only person I need to do that with is Sun Chuan. So we could do it with Sun Chuan, like, almost immediately. We could still do it right now, anyway. Um, yeah, let's do uh, one guy. Why not? Here's some expertise. Didn't even level him up. Okay, well that works. Wait, what? He must have leveled up quite recently. My god, he's so far away. Okay. Yeah, the moment Soon Chuan comes of age, we can do it immediately again. Right, I also need to give out some... Oh no, he did level up. He just didn't tell me for some reason. Alright, definitely gonna give you Flames of the Phoenix. That's gonna help in this battle for sure. That's what I was gonna say. I'm gonna need to give out some items still. You have those already both, so you're gonna be the commander here. You already have items. You haven't, but you haven't got much to get. In fact, you have nothing you're going to get, so there you go. Bookkeeper, is that any good? Nope. Um, yeah, the rest is all fine, though. Okay. 
Then what? Why? We're we selling more food. Let's continue doing that actually, because I do really need to get some more deals. Okay, that one's gonna run out next turn. That's uh, 534 bucks. So that's definitely a deal I want to continue. You want Shao's gonna run out next turn? Man, how long have I been playing? Oh, decent while, I guess. Uh, Ma Tong, do you need food, sir? You definitely don't need food. You be out already have the same amount of deals with. Kung Sanzan, Liu Bei, you have five food. Here's five more. What do you say? For all time sick. Uh, I mean, that's not really a good deal, let's be honest. Shang Yan, no. It's all minor factions. Alright, let's leave it there. We're making yeah, a decent amount of money. We're going to make more once we... Oh, right, I was going to peace out with this guy. That's what I was going to do. Yes, hold on. Oh my goodness, if I could vassalize, I would totally be able to do it right now. No ancillaries, no trade I can get with him. He doesn't have any territory. Can you pay me just like an insane amount of money? Oh god, nope, you can't. Well, it's decent, I guess. Have you got some money yourself right now? That's all you... Wait, hold on. Oh, you do have this, okay. I mean, that's pretty bad, though, let's be honest. I mean, it's not a good deal. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it is, but I still don't want to be at war with him. Not only does this save me money in terms of peace, or in terms of uh, getting this money from him right now, but it also means I can um, I can get rid of Leo Jun there. The downside is, though, I'm pretty sure I could vassalize him next turn, but he doesn't have any territory, so I don't even know if I'd want to vassalize him. Um, yeah, because... We, like, we're, I think the moment we become a second marquee, we could we could vassalize him. It just, it doesn't really do much for me, to be honest. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take this deal. Do you have the mod that fixes titles? No. What What is wrong with titles? Surprised you're not hiring Lady Wu for satisfaction bonus, because Sun Chuan is coming of age soon, for the one billionth time today. Right, I can get rid of you. Let's get rid of these units as well, because I don't want those... Go away. Did I give you any more items besides the stuff you already have? Yeah, this this fish. Let's get, I'll take that fish away. Alright. You can keep the rest of his items because he came with those in the faction, so it's only fair. I also want to replace the... You know what? These ones might be worth recruiting mercenary ac infantry for. But not right now. Okay. Poyang, I can build a building. What can I build? Uh, do I actually want any of these buildings? I... I guess... I wouldn't mind the marketplace, but I think I have more important stuff to get. I'd want to get uh, the inn and the administration office. So, I mean, I do want the marketplace as well. Um, but I currently have no income from... No, it doesn't. It, it just increases my market uh, or my uh, trade influence right now. It's not worth it. Okay, you're unhappy. You're wait. Who's the other one? You. Yeah, whatever. Fucking suck it. Let's end the turn. It's gonna be good. Put Liu Jun that satisfaction assignment. I only have one assignment. Okay, he's fucked off now. Makes sense. I can't really go on the offensive here though until I've got my army from the west back. You want peace. Well, I'm going to take your town soon, so I'm afraid that's not going to do for me. Sorry. I need your town. I mean, I'm going to... Otherwise, I'll die. I'll literally die if I don't get your town soon, so... Oh, he's vassal... Wait, he's vassal like that guy. Is that That's him, right? <laughs> you want to shout I was on a vassalization spree again. Holy shit. Uh, you want Shu sign peace, Shi Shi sign peace, everyone's probably signing peace with this dickhead now. Shu Chu is dead, but he's not available. He'll be great to recruit. Um, <laughs> Zhang Yan declared war on this, this vassal over here now. What the fuck? Alright. All right, hopefully Shu Shu becomes available to recruit at some point. Lua Jun ready for duty. My assignments run out again. Right, I do want to upgrade this. You are going to start sprinting over here. Oops, I'm going to double top it. I'm actually going to... I will happily sprint. 
And if I get caught by them, I'm okay with that. But I'm not gonna get caught by them because those armies are fucking dead. Fucking dead. Alright. Uh, was a very uneventful turn, but so be it. There is still nothing I can do here. What is this again? Was I ever gonna build this? No. I don't care about the mercenary captain thing. Never use them. Never have, never will. Um, Alright. Sun Chuan has got to be coming of age very soon here. Very soon. God damn, that's quite. That joke is never going to get old, is it? I'm going to sit here and a, little while, a little while longer and replenish a little bit more because I could just go on the offensive there very shortly. Um. Their army went over here, yeah, and he went back to defend that, so that's probably getting dealt with right now. So I don't want to go on the offensive until I get my second army, or my first army over here. Because we have nothing to do in the west after I take that one town, which should hopefully happen next turn, if not the turn after that. Yeah, amazing. <sighs> Isn't it just... No, get out of here. Thanks for stopping Dang Long. <laughs> Dang Long, just as you spoke to Wang Long. Great. Okay, they didn't come towards me. Didn't expect them to. Uh, war. You want to show vassalize Liu Bei? Could you stop doing that? Liu Bei leaves the alliance. Oh man, they had an alliance going and everything. God, the guy just comes in and just destroys everyone's mood. And he joined the coalition. Fast faction succession. Kong Rong signed peace of Yuan Shao. Brothers in arms. Great. Lovely. Path blocked. What are you talking about? Okay, we can reach. Fantastic. There, It is an iron mine, which means it'll be tough, and it, it has a decent garrison too. We have night battles on here. I well, think I'll do this. I'll attack the army outside, not make it a night battle, so it's a field battle against the garrison and the army. Yeah, that'll be totally fine. And then after that, we attack the town. Sounds absolutely Lovely jovely, what do you say? Okay. Uh, what can I do? Uh, industry income. I mean, it's not going to do much, but we just want to go there. That's the main, main reason I'm going here. Increase my income a little bit. Alright, we've got a big old battle right now, though. Let's attack the army outside. Are they in four to five stance? I don't think they are. Oh, they ran away. Oh my goodness, they ran away. Alright, I have to fight this one manually then. I need to get this done now, so... I could auto-resolve it. It looks like it's actually a pretty decent auto-resolve. What the... It's a... Yeah, it's one of these ones. And I have no siege... Equipment... But I do have mercenary archers and tiger guard. It's all archer militia. One crossbowman though. So there's one unit that will actually have the same range as me. The rest is all less range. Um, this is going to give me two more Reckless Luck, which actually means we're going to be positive for a couple of turns until that minus five or plus five per turn runs out. Uh, it's going to be time consuming, but I think it's worth fighting this one manually again. Again, those mercenary archers is going to do so much work. We need more titles for the title system. Maybe it'll add more. I actually really like it right now. The moment you load from a save, you'll no longer be able to earn any titles. What? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Probably because I wasn't earning any titles. <laughs> uh, Alright, you guys are going to go up here into Turtle. Just move on up. We have the fire arrows. This is actually this is like a, a different tactic now. I don't have siege engines, but I can just burn the towers down. Works out pretty well as well. I also need to. I, I totally forgot I have these. I need to replace these Liberator Cav at some point with uh, Militia Cav Boy things. Alright. Okay. Gonna have to wait for them to get up a little bit closer. Saving expertise for Sun Chuan. You mean sharing expertise? I did it once just now. Like. Five minutes ago. 
Okay, he's asking in chat. I'll just reply to him then. If no one else can fucking reply to this this poor man who's asking a question because he's he's behind on the stream, I will answer him myself. But yeah, I'm keeping the rest for Sun Chuan. So I have another fifty something now. Our men are spotted. Uh, oh yeah, those towers, oof, they will actually fire me if I go there, so let's not go there. They're actually, they should be firing at me right now, this unit right here, although they're not. Yes, they are. Just saw that arrow coming in right there. You guys can run, actually. Hold on. Hold on just a second now. Okay. Just a wee bit closer. And we can have you shoot at that tower. Okay. That should be... Oh, under oil. Oh! Oh, that's painful, that is. Oh, that's just... <laughs> that was unexpected. An unexpected little bonus there. Lovely. Uh, okay, let's have this... Let's have, fire this unit for a second, because they're going to come back from routing otherwise. Oh, they're selling out. What the heck? Stop it. That's not allowed. Okay, burn that tower down. Burn that tower down. Stop it. Stop it. That should be enough. Okay, just don't come back from riding. Don't be a little bastard. Okay, now go on normal arrows and fire at will. Let's make an actual line real quick. You're awesome. My awesome what? Thanks though. Even though you wrote your wrong, it's okay. Uh, how late am I? You're two hours and for twenty minutes late, or something like that. They did come back from riding the little bastard. Surely they're gonna ride yet. Yeah, they're minus 56 morale. Stop wasting ammo. Just rode already. Four men remaining. Are you kidding me? Oh, hello? Minus 72 morale? Are you not. There we go. They instantly routed. Okay, let's not do this. This is stupid. Moving into range of their archers. Okay. Let's get you up a little bit closer, make sure they don't actually sally out and attack my archers, that'd be bad. Um, I like how when they route, they route towards me, it's pretty useful. Okay, fire at will again. Actually, fire at that cap, because they're going to come back in a second and absolutely ruin me, I can tell you that right now. One step closer to victory, okay, you guys stop firing, fire at will. Okay, you st uh, stop firing again. Kill this general real quick, probably not a bad idea. If it's the only unit can, you can fire at, you will fire at her. Oh, you have something else to fire at, apparently. Just fire at her, though. Just get her real quick. Regular archers not quite as strong as crossbows and murdering generals, but... It will suffice. This guy's gone mad, that's okay. He's probably gonna be cooled down again by the time he gets anywhere near us. Okay, this was definitely worth fighting manually. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. He <laughs> Just before he reached, he's like, actually, wait a second. I'm not a fighter at all. I've just now realized I don't do the whole fighting thing. I forget. All right. This is going well. Yeah, mercenary arts are great for this kind of battle. There's so much ammo just firing for days. And by days, I do mean minutes. Alright, time to get the boys up, because I didn't actually need to get to the the real work here. You know what, while he's standing there, let's go kill him real quick. Immediately berserk again. Oh my god, you fucking slaughtered him with like two hits. Good shit. Keep killing him. Get him out of here. Nice one, wow, they don't, they don't usually kill generals that quickly. Okay, there's still quite a few units survive, uh, remaining, actually. Let's just get you up. You as well. Oh, you're still berserking over here. This unit's gonna fucking come back, isn't it? I could get my cav up, but also I keep running you back through there. It's okay. Um, can you shatter already? Okay, fine, just get him back here. Right, I need you to come over here, kill the infantry first. Because they're much easier to kill than the calf. Let's go over here, actually. 
Oh fuck. I keep forgetting about that. Every time I want to use his ability, he just runs in, he just runs into combat and immediately make he just immediately uh, berserks. So I can't actually do any abilities. Alright, Cav, let's come over here. Oh nice. Mass rat, sweet. Why did Sun Se go mad? It's this trait. Worst trait in the entire game, yes. It's actually it's just very annoying, because it means you can't use your other abilities, which the other ability is way better. And it means that, you, you know, you can go rampage into stuff that you don't want to rampage into. It is actually pretty shit. Kind of wish I'd known. Alright, two more reckless luck for me. Sweet. There you go. And two available assignments. Also damn handy right now. Oh man, we already have 75 shared expertise again. Holy shit. Actually goes up really... I guess it goes up one per character. Per turn. That's really good. Alright, so this is the only part of that faction that survived. So I guess we could peace out now if you really wanted to. Do you want our faction for marriage? I don't know if I really want her. Oh wow, I can actually do that. Oh, that's... Wait, hold on. Could I have done that before I attacked them? I wonder if I should have checked that. I can end my campaign real quick. One click at the button. One click right now will finish this campaign. Should I do it? Probably not. Uh, okay, how close? We must be one point away now, aren't we? That is actually really annoying. Um, okay, so that was this one. So we also got just straight up five reckless luck for that. So we're actually going positive right now, I believe. Oh no, it's uh, exactly zero. So we're not losing anything for the next four turns. Not bad. Four turns of not losing anything. Um, yeah, we still got to take all of this province and all of this province before we are. Then we're down to minus one per turn. So we're not even we're not even breaking even from that yet. But anyway, right. This is one of those annoying situations where I don't know what to do. I guess we'll peace out. Maybe get some money from them. This faction will just get vassalized by you one shot next turn. It'll be great. Give me all the uh, money that you have, please. Oh man, that's actually not that bad. You got any ancillaries? I'll take anything you have. Yes, I'll take that. Even though you're gonna overvalue it like crazy, it's better than a tiny bit of money. I'll take 600 exact things. Uh, I already checked that. Don't know why I would do it again. Wow, I can actually. I mean, sure. I get an extra, you know, almost 100 bucks out of this actually going to be exactly 695 um yeah 95 bucks for an aggression pack sure I'll take that per turn so nine, 950 i should have checked actually if they had some insta money for me but oh well i had a wooden ox fantastic i love it okay so now we're going to run this army east as fast as humanly possible do I have any deals of you? My goodness, you are at war with a lot of people. Wait, are you that faction who I need to... No, it's not this one, is it? Because if it is, it might be worth doing that. Um, I have no fucking clue. This one. Wang Zhu, it is him, actually. That's going to give me two more reckless luck per turn. I don't care about this 15% raise block chance, but... Join faction for a marriage never happened in my thousand hour of 3k. Yeah, I've seen it once before, I think, but it was like almost impossible. In this case, it was possible, which means I should have done it before I attacked, I think. Because then I would have just, you know, I could have sent this army elsewhere. But yeah, if I fight this guy, it's annoying because he owns this town here as well. Is he a vassal of someone? No. No, he's just a guy. He's a guy that hates me as well, actually. So that's a legitimate thing I could do. I could go that way. Who's this? That's the other turbo bone, okay. Um, I could go that way. I just gotta defeat him, right? I don't actually have to m take out his faction. So if I could take if I could take this trade board, I'd be okay. And defeat him. Defeat him in battle. Boom in. Although, hold on, no, 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 I'm not. I want to get this done right now. In fact, I will do this right now. A thousand bucks. Okay. Is Zheng Zhang still available? She is, okay. I have a thousand bucks left over after that. Yeah, we gotta do it. We do this. All right, so that should get me to second marquee. Yes, there you go. Don't I have a mission for that? 
I guess it didn't expect me to. Oh no, it's to get to marquee. Okay. All right. So then I will get Zhang Zhang recruited, who's going to be incredibly pissed off. Nice. She kept her red sisters. Ah, she brought a horse as well. Very kind of her. Oof. She's incredibly pissed off. Yep, as expected. So that's going to get me more food. Five percent. Oh boy. Um. Construction cost reduction, construction time reduction. And this is going to get us a whole bunch of spy stuff. She'll be happy regardless, whichever one I choose. Okay, so the food one makes sense for her, sure. And then I guess I can finally get these other people a little bit happier as well. This guy's pretty pissed off too. So construction cost reduction or, what was this again? Spy shit. I'll give him this one. Although, how is this going to work? When we become emperor, do these all, like, is this going to change as well? to the normal emperor thing, or is this going to be completely unique? I guess we can always fucking fuck around with it at that point. Let's give him this one. It's better than the spy shit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. And again, he's going to come of age, like, next turn or turn after that, I think. So, Zhu Tai is also unhappy, but he doesn't even get much happier from this. It's an extra six. Uh, and he gets me no bonuses either, so I'm not too fussed about that right now. Uh, okay, so... I have 97. I need to do this again. I can't wait because it's a massive waste if I wait. Zheng Zhang, you want to level up? Because then she'll get more bonuses because she'll get to level 5. So here's some expertise for you. And that did level her up. You are going to get Tenacity of Steel. You're also going to turn in your horse for now. You can keep your weapons because... Those are yours. Um, okay. So she's still unhappy. Zhu Tai's still unhappy, and Tai Shi Chi is still unhappy. This guy's fucking just. Why are you so unhappy, dude? I need. To, it's just because we don't have. You know, we don't have much satisfaction. Once Sun Xuan comes of age, we're gonna have like an insane amount of satisfaction. All of a sudden, we might finally get rid of the satisfaction that's low as well. Increase our income. Everything's gonna get better. Everyone's gonna be happy. It's gonna be great. We don't have a Prime Minister either, but that's normal, because we don't get that until we get to Juke, which we're still pretty far away from. We just got the second marquee. Um, yeah, I do think this army is going to go that way, which means I need to consider what to do with this army, because now I can't just stick around here forever and not do anything. I could easily go to this, this place here, take them out. I'm kind of worried, because again, once you... I guess I could possibly send this... No, I can't. Not until marquee, I guess. Um... Or maybe I really do need to actually... Maybe I just... Because spies are unlocked. Doesn't that... Isn't that unlocked with... Second Marquis? Yeah, it's just a weird difference. So I, I, I think the only reason... The only way I get spies is if I put someone in here. Uh, although they have such a low level. They need to be level 3 before I even get anything. <laughs> yeah. Available spy positions plus 3. Okay, but it, it's actually plus 2 and then plus 3 from him. Yeah. Um, wait, hold on. Oh shit, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking, oh man, okay, I just wasted a bunch of shared XP's. I didn't have to do that. I actually only had 25. I sold this 97 and that was my reckless luck, okay. Oopsie. I'm sure someone commented about that too. Married a queen, oh yeah, hold on. Do are we married to anyone? No. Shang Zhang. I can't marry her. Are you married to someone? You're not. Otherwise you'd have a little symbol there. Why can't I marry? I haven't got the money, right? That's okay. But yeah, marrying Zhang Zhang seems like a pretty uh, reasonable choice, I'd say. Uh, the only other. No, actually, there's more legendary characters now, female ones, but I was going to say the only other legendary one is soon. Actually, no, we're going to get those um, Da Chao sisters and stuff, right? No, we're going to stick to the story. I don't know how we're going to get those, but at some point, I'm sure we'll get them. I'm going to send this army this way. I'm going to go attack this dickhead. If we get, if you know, if I see his army coming back, it's right there. We could very easily do so. We'll just send our back, uh, we'll go back to the fishing port. But otherwise, we'll take this out. Okay, I guess we'll find out next turn. Let's go. Don't marry Zhang Zhang as soon as his wife comes. Yeah, we got two wives, right? The Xiao sisters or something? Hello, faux pas. Get out of here. This is this is not your territory anymore. You little bitch. I'll fuck you up.
Holy shit, Sun Tzu at last avenges us far. Oh, we have a mission to destroy Yuang Zhu. Well, in that case, that's definitely what we're going to do then. Fantastic, I have five grand for that as well. Your family has known the bitter blow of tragedy when the mighty Sun Jian was cut down. Now it is finally time to rectify this and exact revenge on the perpetrators of this crime. Bring the killers to justice and ensure the legacy of Sun Jian lives on through your deeds. All right, sounds good. You want your vassalized coin? Oh man, it's going to be big old war in the north at some point. Uh, oh god. Did he also vassalize this faction here? Oh, she, she vassalized. Oh, there you go. <laughs> good thing we didn't marry just now. The elder Chiao, a gentleman of the Han, has two daughters. Famed throughout the land of their, for their beauty and musical skill. Out of respect for you and your prestige, he offers them to you and your sworn brother in marriage. My sworn brother? Hey, nice. We got the rank four commander or champion who's 18 to 30 years old. I'm pretty sure that's the one we were missing. So I'm guessing that's one of the new ones we just got. Uh, or not. Oh, that must, yeah, that was Jane Jung, of course. Right, you've got some level ups. You've got two level ups. Well, what about that? How about that? So Chiao's sisters, right. I'm going to be using them in an army together. Commander and strategist so then we need oh we put Zheng Zhang with them three women oh that sounds pretty good I like that I'm sure they hate each other but that's okay like, she's beautiful creative loyal beautiful as well beautiful B E A beautiful um okay so I think we're gonna go here oh hold on yeah I could start with this one I can get this first that's yeah, actually pretty good so their um, thing is that friendly units are in range with this ability. Can use if friendly units are in range, but it's a, it's a effect range of infinite, so I guess all it, she just straight up gives everyone 10 morale and immune to terror, like, boat, like what do you call that? Um, Army-wide or like map-wide. And then hers is the same. But I'm pretty sure that's only if they're together, right? I'm assuming that's only if they're together. Either way, I'll put them together. Although, if it wasn't, if, if it counts, even if they're not together, then it actually is better to put them in different armies because you straight up get plus them around, even if they are terror in two armies. But I think having a full uh, female army there, but as long as the sisters are in battle together, okay, gotcha. Is this free to download or you buy it through Steam? This is this is a you buy this game. Um, if you're interested in buying it, I would suggest uh, using the link in the description to two game. You get it's like on discount there. You get a ten percent extra discount if you use my code SmartDonkey at checkout. Um, and you, know, you get the game a lot cheaper, and you just get an official Steam key and everything. Area Fang. Okay, so he didn't come over, so we are gonna go take that copper mine. So we want part of that as well. Zhang Zhao available again. How many fucking factions have you been with? Not many. He might be a spy, but again, we should get him from the event anyway, so it shouldn't matter. An ambush. It's an ambush. I don't want any anyone else. Uh, and then there's also, we got that one done. This one. So we got an extra five reckless luck. So we actually went up a little bit just then. Okay. Sounds good. Plenty of legendary characters in this court as well now. So, you're gonna go west, that's for sure. Ooh, that's some terrible movement you got there. Yep, we're gonna go this way. Bit risky. I'm gonna go here, up to my border. And then you are gonna go attack this twat. You had it coming. He's the only person who dislikes it. Well, I don't really give a shit. Uh, this is actually going to be a tough one. Although we have Hail of Arrows, we don't have any cheeky shield wall abilities or turtle formation abilities here. So this is going to be an actual fight against a pretty good garrison. We do have the Mercenary Archer, so we can still just sit there and take some damage. It works the same way, just except to take damage from towers. Although we can burn out a tower, so it's actually not too bad. No, we'll be okay. It's going to be totally fine. Do you have fire arrows? Do not fire arrows. It's not gonna be okay. God damn it, Lufan, you son of a bitch. Why couldn't you just be a little bit better? Huh? Why couldn't you just have two more level ups? You little bitch. You little bastard, I'll fuck you up. Okay, fine. We'll still fight it though. I don't wanna I don't wanna auto resolve this one. Uh yep. Yeah.
方要趁热时。Still on the path for a very long time after torrent sites are now closed. I don't condone torrenting, so I'd probably stop talking about it for you. Alright. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, it's gonna be an awkward one. We're just gonna have to stand there and just tank damage for a while. With the... I guess we can... Yeah, we just play it as safe as we can. Only take it out damage from these four instead of those as well and we do have Ale of Arrows so we are gonna be able to do a decent bit of damage and he's got that as well now so they're they're actually pretty decent you're you're just fucking trash you son of a bitch I hate you okay I might even try and run into the town right away as well oof wait are we being shot already are you fucking serious how did I set up in range of the tower Ah, uh, fuck it, just go in. Okay, just get into range. And you guys are gonna run up right away. And I'm just gonna send them in. I'm just gonna fucking attack. Because I gotta. I mean, I'd like to do some more damage at range first, but. One guy firebomb yet? No, it's on the other side of the tree, unfortunately. We are definitely gonna move up here and do some fucking hail of arrows now, though. Some fucking hail of arrows. Oh. Thanks for the sub, Melvin de Bolos. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, if I line up right here, I can set up inside the tower range. Would be fantastic, but Cav might be coming towards me. Get this done quickly. And goodbye, couple hundred dudes. Nice, got it all off before that unit. 177 kills right there. Okay, get in there. Get in here. Nice, right of them. In that unit, please. This one. Yes. And then do a little bit of that. And here come of the reinforcements. Okay, we're doing good damage. Yeah, we're going to be shooting from there for a while. You're going to go in there. You're going to actually kill this unit off before it comes back. Uh, okay, let's not leave you in there, not be stupid. Yeah, you keep killing them, actually. Okay, this is bad. I don't I need to get you out of here. Get them out of there! Okay, let's move the archers up. Keep firing at whatever we can fire at. You are running into tower range of the other towers now. Alright, fine. They come back, it's okay. Actually... Uh, oof, there's a lot, of hit, lot to hit here. Let's go over here. Take these towers on the way. Okay, get back in here. Get all the way through. All the way straight up in there. All the way in there, and then do that. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, fuck. This guy came into range and take, gave him his cooldown. God damn it. Okay, get out of there then. It's not worth it. Oh fuck! Oh shit, what happened here? Oh my god, I did not expect this. Can't rely on these goddamn axe units, can I? Jesus Christ, I don't know what happened here, but we got three units riding. Okay, this guy must have had some kind of... I don't know what the fuck's happened with him, but okay. Uh, right, I need you to come in here and shoot the shit out of these boys here, if you wouldn't mind. Holy fuck. Oh my god, we're getting removed over here. I need to get my calf. Reinforcements, please. Come over here. Okay, do me, do me, uh, do me a big one. Shh, fucking snipe these boys. Oh God damn it! He, this guy is ruining everything. Oh God, he, he's actually doing it. Good. Okay, do it. Oh God, the cooldown. Son of a bitch. Oh my God, this guy's ruining me. These axes have been absolutely demolished. Okay, just stay back. Fuck it. I might want to get you guys over here as well. This is actually looking a bit painful here, I'm not going to lie. My morale, though. Okay, kill, go kill him, please, because that guy needs to fucking die already. Shoot over here. Okay, my calves in there now. Now we should be able to deal with this guy. You had your fun. That's enough. God, he did fuck me up. That That is a strong fucking general, I'll tell you. God damn it, they're coming back again. Catch them. 
Gotta catch them all. Who one guy? Kill him, please. I, I'm not joking about that. He needs to be dead. I had just about enough of that man. Alright, that was a bit of a scare. Was not paying attention as I did not expect my units to all of a sudden be completely pointless at their job. That was, you know, new to me as well. Having units perform that poorly. God damn it, there's some more fucking cab over here. Get him out of here. Okay, I think we got a mass route though. Except for that unit there. And this, these are all coming back. Okay, fine. Let's go kill them. You guys are just gonna keep chasing. Alright. Uh, come this way, because we don't own those towers. I don't want to get killed too easily. Right. That was something. This is my town now, boys. Get your ass out of here. Are you dismounted? For fuck's sake, you are. How did that happen? Are you also dismounted? You are okay, we're, both, we're all dismounted apparently now. Alright. Shoot in there. Please. And you and you just come over here as well. I mean, at this point we're just counting down until we win. Yeah. Pretty sure. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that was more painful than expected, but not really a huge deal either, to be honest. I always give Tia Shi Chi mounted archers. Okay. Do you think that the poison volley that bandits have is OP? They nerfed poison like crazy, didn't they, in patch 1.5, so I don't think it's that good. Got a nice fucking clock, great. Alright, there goes that faction, see you later. There goes the first of those free towns. Um, so that gave me another five reckless luck. Man, at this rate we're going to be going up to that one again, that'd be great. There's our water cock, nice. You know what? If no one if someone doesn't have something here, yeah. We're gonna give that to you, because actually this army replenishes pretty fucking slowly right now, so. So 18%. Oh, maybe it takes a turn to, to kick in, I'm not sure. Right. Uh we got decent bit of money. We're gonna upgrade something here. Can't upgrade this to level 3 for a long time yet. I honestly only wanted that to get my uh, rank to second marquee, so I think I might remo remove it again now. Because there's definitely better things to build. Although, I guess I'll build this up first and then... We also have several more assignments. So I guess what I'll do is I'll remove this and I'll build that there next turn when he's in there. What else can we do that's actually worth doing? Income from peasantry, food production... Yeah, none of those are very good. Replenishment's not bad. For a little bit. We could certainly replenish this army a little bit faster. But I can't actually do that here, because I don't own the rest of the province, so... I can't do any good assignments, I'm going to do bad ones. Um, well then. I, I don't think it's worth doing any. I'm not making enough money to make it worth doing anything. I can upgrade this for some extra food, but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I guess I can always cancel it, so let's do it anyway. Oh, I can upgrade this. Yes, that's definitely something worth doing. And I'll definitely cancel this because I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna need that money, I'm sure, for other things. Or maybe not, but either way, it's not that important. Okay, still a couple people are unhappy, but I think next turn... Sun Xuan is going to come of age. I'm pretty damn sure it's going to happen this next turn. Otherwise, the turn after, surely. It has to happen soon. He's been 17 for several turns now. I mean, come on. You can only be 17 for so long, man. Alright. And this disgusting turn. I know you like Sugar too. Can you try the Moss mod when you are done? No thanks. <laughs> he wants to vassalize me again. Um... No, I, uh, sorry, I, I have no interest in any mod that uses Extended Japan. Uh, I don't like Extended Japan. Shogun 2, as it's, like, as it is right now, is the perfect length for me. The reason I like, one of the reasons I like Shogun 2 so much is because it doesn't take, you know, I don't, I don't have to ask my great-great-grandchildren to finish the campaign for me, like in Rome 2 or Attila or something. 
or Mortal Empires or something like that. Like I don't understand long campaigns. How can they be fun or how they can be fun? I just I just don't enjoy them. So any campaign that makes or any mod that makes the campaign on Shogun Two last longer, just like no thanks. Uh, let's get relations with Shutai. Why not? Sun Xuan became solitary. Okay, that's not that great actually. Minus two satisfaction, but in only in his army. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Also, what the fuck? A two town province. Don't see that very often. Uh, right, so we're gonna build the inn here now. And since we're not seeing an army from Yuan Shu yet, I might keep going. On the other hand, though, what the fuck, James? I think James wants to leave my room. I'm probably just gonna stop streaming soon anyway. It's been almost three hours. Hey, James. Can you guys see him? Oh, you're so soft. Um, yeah, on the other hand, I was going to say, uh, if he does appear, I won't be able to make it back in a single turn if I start besieging that right now. So, it's a bit risky. Also, my army is a bit dead, so if, I'm thinking I might hang around a little bit longer. I also can't make it back in a single turn if I... Okay, what I... Ugh, I'm thinking I could move back a little bit and then just sit there in, like, fortress stance. Just so I still replenish and I can make it in a single turn back there, sprinting, if I have to. I don't know. Can you reach that? <coughs> oh my Jesus, James! Okay, uh, let me let him out of the room here, because he wants to leave. I'm pretty sure he heard his food getting prepared. Why don't you up the western side of China and strike both eastern and western warlords at the same time? What's uh, what's what's he doing right here? Do you wonder? Do you, do you? Are you wondering? Are you are you guessing? Are you thinking? All right, he's not there. I do have to beat the man himself. Um. I'm gonna... 50, okay, yeah, I'm gonna move here. Right on the border. Although then they could attack my copper mine and I wouldn't be able to defend it. Okay, I'm gonna move here. And then encamp, or yeah, encamp. Still replenish. And from there, I think I'll be able to reach Shindu in a single turn. And they, if they attack here, unless they have night battles, which they could do. I can't see, but they might do. Well, in that case, they take the copper mine, I take it back. They're not going to do that. Um, okay, and I can once again build this. Yeah, fuck it. I have enough money now. Uh, oh, yes. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. I guess I could have done next last turn after all, but I won't. Okay. Uh, any other deals? I got 22 food now. My food seems to just be keep going up, even though I'm not really doing much, like specifically for food or anything. Uh, Tsao Tsao, I have no deal with you right now. You have very little food. How much food do you want? Ooh, you want food desperately, do you? Well, I can provide that food for a price. Oh, hold on, that's too much. Okay, he wants 19. Okay. Ooh, this might be good. Sun Chuan came of age. Oh, sweet. I'll have a look at that in a second. Oh, this deal is fucking insane. It's a shame I'm not bordering him. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else you got? You got any ancillaries? Because... Nope. Um, what if I make you my vassal? What about that? Okay, what if I you gave me like... I don't know, something like that. I'll just drop this down a little bit. Let me see. Um, okay, so that's worth, let's say, yeah, around there. So 2040. Uh, this is, let's do this to 3500 then, for easier math. Okay. And this is then 2030. No, 20. 35. Okay. 
2045. Uh, so if I remove this, or if I drop this down to 1700s, yeah, it's pretty damn even. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it as it was. So 2030 was it? Uh, 2035. Okay. So yeah, I got two grand per turn. <laughs> Sounds pretty disgusting. Two grand per turn with a, a bonus of 3,500 immediately. 3,500 up front. Two grand per turn for the next 10 turns. What do you say? All right, that's just for uh, some food and um, military access. Sounds good. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I need to drop. Okay, yeah. No, wait. I. Sorry, no, I'm not going to take that. Yes, this was the... Okay, right. Sorry, I don't know why I'm... I'm losing my mind. No, I was going to do this. Hold on. I was going to do 1,700. Sorry. I lost my mind. And then I was going to take the 3,500 up front. So I was going to drop it. I was like, I'll have everything, actually. Thank you. Uh, and then this was going to be like 1680 or something. 50. 58. All right. 1658. There you go. That's what it is, actually. Sorry. Soon Chuan could may marry the bandit queen if you want. I could do that. That might be an interesting one. Ooh, you want Shu once piece, just straight up right now. You know what? That would get that whole problem away from me. Why does he want peace so much? What is your strength for strategic situation? He must be getting fucked by someone or something. I have no idea what's going on there, but can I take land from you? Uh yes, actually I even though it's bordering across water, it does count. Yeah, it's too too difficult now. You want to be in a coalition with me? Oh wow, he actually almost does. Um, oh yeah, support of legitimacy. Wow, he doesn't want that right now. Is it because I betrayed you last time I did it? Okay, yeah, I'll just take some money. How about some money? No, not a lot of money, but I'll take money. Actually, that's that's some good money. Oh, I like this money. It started on three point three, but it uh, became pretty darn good. Okay, six ninety three, ninety five. Um, I already checked ancillaries. So you got nothing there. Um, I have no food for me. Okay, yeah, I can't really go for more food. I have, yeah, your why? I don't, your daughter. I don't want to marry, marry your daughter. All right, another six ninety five for peace. Sure, with this twat. And then there was another faction I wanted peace, but that's that one. I don't want to peace out with them. Okay, what else we got? Who else wants to give me all their fucking money? Because I could build another army right now with all this money. Um, don't want to offer anything. Foreign coalition with Dong Juan Fang. Oh, that's the faction we just took out and then pieced out with. Can I actually legitimately, I could do it if you want Shu or like Liu Zhang or someone or Han Sui. Anyone who's legendary. I don't care about all these minor fucking characters. But I don't want to do that. I uh, don't want to become a vassal. I could do this potentially if it's worth a lot of money. No thanks. Um, anyone else? I don't. No, I don't want you. Don't want you. You maybe? I mean, we just signed a deal with you for peace recently, so I don't know. No, that's terrible. Let's leave it at that. We're making enough money as it is. Let's not rob any more people right now. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So I don't I didn't have to do this after all, so let me just pop back into town I guess. Um Yeah, and then we can we can actually still attack this right now. What is your garrison like? Is it good? You know what what I'll do is actually I'll replace one of these now with a trebuchet. Now that I've got the money. I should have done the same here, but I can do it after I take this trade port. So now we have we have a full trebuchet. We can actually go for it immediately, although the, the army in there is fairly large. Maybe I siege them out immediately. Although I could do with re replenishment as well, but they're also replenishing, so it's kind of counteractive right now. I can get mercenary cap now. What's the difference in price? Not much. Um, let me have a look comparison between the units then. So they have... Oh, right, Sun Chuan came over. I need to look at that as well. Jesus. Although there's still... Several people unhappy, so... And it, it never said in the thing, yeah, you're you're lying to me. He's 18 years old now, though. But he will he will come of age next turn, probably. But yeah, because there was never an, an, a thing that told me he came of age, so... Anyway, um... Level 1, okay, so they're both the same. Actually, these guys are level 2. Mm, they do more armor-piercing, less base damage, a lot more melee evasion, a little bit more armor, a lot less speed. 
and a lot more charge bonus. I don't have an insane charge bonus actually. Uh, definitely better. So I think I will just go ahead and take those boys. That sounds lovely. Plus they're unique, so you know. You know, I'll get them in here as well soon. I'm making four grand a turn right now. I'm not too fussed about the money anymore. So I think we attack them next turn. Give us a one turn to replenish a little bit. And I do want to replace these guys as well. I don't know what with. Maybe I'll get two more mercenary calf. I also need to replace these guys at some point with Gian sword guards. Because I do actually think they're a lot better. Especially after the display just now. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? Think about Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Next turn, I think Sun Chuan is of age. And then it's gonna be good. This campaign is fucking going great so far. I don't understand what happened to Yuan Shu that he all of a sudden just like Please! I'll be your bitch, I'll do anything. This guy's the one to the northeast, right? No, he's not. He's just some random. Get the fuck out of my face, dude. What the hell do you think you are? There it is. Coming of age, yep. Tan Shanyu is dead. See you later. There he is. The boy. Man of many scars. Scars. Yujin. Unique boy. No thank you. Alright, so immediately all the happiness things are gone. Because we have a lot more satisfaction now. Even the, yeah, the satisfaction thing is gone. So there he is. I don't know what you're doing for me right now. 25% um, campaign movement range starting in friendly sea regions. Military supplies, faction wide. Sure, and you brought a nice sword with you as well. You're friends with Xu Tai already. He's loyal, it's whatever. Doesn't give me anything special from here, so he doesn't really give me anything useful from being my heir. But I'm still going to keep him my heir anyway because he is Sun Chuan after all. Um. We could marry, I guess since we're, I mean, these women, they joined our faction even though I didn't, you know, I didn't marry them. Plus in this game, you're actually, you know, you're limited. You can't actually marry two women. So I think we can still just, well, I guess I could marry like one of them to Sun Sen and the other one to Sun Xiao and then not marry Zheng Zhan, but kind of tempted. When Sun Wen comes of age, I think I'll try and marry someone like... Uh, uh, Ma Chow into our faction or something. Scarred. Oh. Oh, that must have been that event. Men of Many Scars. Okay, that works out pretty good. That's a good trait, so I'll take that one. And we got a horse exchange. A horse exchange. Lovely. Uh, let's upgrade this now. Right, so you are going to attack this. I might siege him out for a little while. They're going to start taking attrition after two turns takes a little while but if i fight it manually right away i do have him but it's actually a full stack i can blow up the walls but nah i'll siege them out they might even sally out although probably not although it does say close to feet so maybe they will actually uh continue the siege for now wait hold on did he no, they used to own another town across the water, but they don't anymore. Otherwise, I could try and make them surrender, but they're not going to do that anyway. Soon Chuan leveled up. Right. Oh, yes, I'm going to be sharing expertise immediately, because if he gets level 4, I think that's going to get me another thingy magic done, right? Okay, so we're going to go for faction support. Actually, does matter. Starting rank for all recruits, also not bad. Um, I do want to get these ones sooner rather than later, but I think this is actually worth picking up. You're going to give that sword away, you little bastard. That's not yours. Get some authority. There you go. More happiness for my men, please. Right, so I'm going to do that. And then that should get him to level 4, which it did. And then we're going to... Hmm. That's actually a tough one, because I do want to go for Unyielding Earth. Now that I've gone this way, I'm kind of committed going that way, right? But this is trash. But so is that. So they're both kind of shit. Although that's really good as well. Maybe we go here first, because these are both good. But Unyielding Earth's really solid. Eh, we'll go this way. 
All right, so now he's level four, so that should uh, get the other mission done. Let's see which one that is. Uh, legacy, nope. Wait, what is this? It's sort of half soon, Sean B rank. F okay, that's gonna happen soon. Ooh, Lady soon. Who the fuck? Oh, that soon ran then, I guess. We're not gonna get anything crazy from that anyway. Uh, wait, so, no, not the instinct one. The one that we already had two out of three of. Oh, I guess it's okay, it's completed now, but it takes a turn. Wait, what do you. Oh, that was. Hold on, it was uh, Commander or Champion. Right, okay, we already had Zheng Zhang complete this one. Never mind, I didn't actually need to do that. Eh, it doesn't matter. He's still level four now. We didn't actually have to do that one, though. Okay. Cool. Um, so we have to move. Yes, we gotta do this here. So we're gonna go and attack that. Wait, there's no army in there. There's no garrison. Yeah, this, I'm just gonna pick this up for free. All right, sweet. Thanks for the town, buddy. Sweet. Uh, built that off immediately. And I got a little bit of money. I do need to replace some units. Ooh, there we go. Oh shit, Shangsha was also part of it then. Are we gonna get? Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get happy or um. Fuck's sake, this one. Yeah, we're not going to get uh, Reckless Luck from that one, so that one is actually not as important, okay. That's why I didn't know it. Okay, um, yeah, so I do want to replace units in here as well. I want to get um, the Mercenary Cav in here as well. Can I afford all four of them right now? I most certainly can't. Let's get rid of the Raider Cav then, first of all. Yeah, then I'll get the rest next turn. They get fully replenished instantly anyway, so that's good. Also, yeah, these... I didn't think about this. These two units here actually i can exchange as well now to the uh the tiger guard which i should have done before i moved over here oh no never mind they're level six okay didn't mess up then okay uh yeah we're gonna kill this guy off we're gonna sail across and just kill him and then we're gonna get two more reckless luck from that as well so that's gonna be good i think we're uh, starting to make make our way up to um safe positions because obviously we take out these territory here this territory here and then we take out wang zhu we're actually gonna be positive per turn uh, plus one, so we're not that far away from doing that, to be honest, at this point. Okay, and everyone's reasonably happy now. I just need to get... Um, need to get a, a Prime Minister, or become Emperor, and then all of a sudden, you know, no one's happy anymore. Cool. I think we're ready to end the turn here. Grab a tre Oh, yes, trebuchet, yes, that's what I was... I knew there was something I, wasn't, I hadn't done yet. There you go. So, thank you. Okay, uh, that's that. End turn. I do wonder where the man himself is. Because if I start sailing over there... A thousand bucks now. Wow, you're, you're putting up the... Uh... Oh, that's you. Never mind. Get the fuck out of here. He knows what's coming. He's like, uh, you know what? I've actually always wanted to be friends with you. I just I was too afraid to ask because you're such a cool guy and all. I don't fall for these tricks. Vassal will can are told to go to war. Uh, ah, Young Feng vassalized this person here. This one. Okay, the Wei assigned peace with them, and so did everyone else in the world. Okay. Military instructor, okay. Do you want it? Here you go. That go oh, he's one away from 160, which would then get me another one of those things. Uh, we are, oh, we're high satisfaction now, sweet. So our income's up. Uh, we're still getting five reckless luck for, for three more turns. Oh yeah, I guess we got five just now. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, Zhutai became fiery, nice. Not a bad trait. Uh, yeah, I do want to upgrade that. I also wanted to get two more units, but I'm not too fussed about that. Lance Cav, they're level four already. It's not too, they're not too much worse. So we are going to start sailing over. Again, a bit risky because I don't know what's there. Let me just sail up for now and see where we, if I can see anything. Oh, there's Gan Ning. If I land, can I attack next turn? I don't know. 
Let's just keep sailing. If he attacks me in the water... Okay, there he is. That's not a very strong armor. Oh, wow, okay. He is not in a good position, is he? Right. <laughs> we attack that next turn. Take him out. Oh, that's gonna be great. Sweet. That was easier than easier said than done. Um, we're still standing, or sieging out there. That's not a problem. I was gonna end the stream, but I think I might do one more turn quickly. Still got this position to give away as well, actually, but... Again, no one really needs it. She would get some happiness from it, but we're already on high happiness, so I'm not too fussed right now. Um, yeah, I think we're good. What are we on right now? Yeah, exactly zero for every turn, the last couple turns. Good shit. Yeah, I want to take him out. Then we're actually going to go positive for a little bit. And then we're going to go negative again once that, this runs out, but still. Uh, Changsha, by the way, what else is... So this is Yellow Turban Rebellion, and then the other part of that is... What the... Also, this is a completely different province, of course. I'm gonna trade that away, it's a bit far away. So Changsha is this, that, that, and that, okay. So I'd have to attack the Hana Empire and Yellow Turbans. But again, it doesn't give me any reckless luck, so I'm not too fussed about it. Quickly check diplomacy, is there anything crazy in here that I want to do? Uh, anyone want to peace out? Yep, but I don't want to peace out you unless you give me your land, which I can't make that happen. So no one wants to coalition coalition with me anymore. All right, fine. I didn't want to coalition with any of you either. Let me actually quickly go through these again. Make sure there's nothing that's running out in terms of you want Shao, but we we only have five food now, so I don't want to. Okay, leave. Okay, this is that's going to cost me two grand per turn, so I got to get a new deal with him next turn. Oh, he's supporting our independence, but we're already independent, so how does that work? Did they declare war on each other then? Yeah, I guess they are. I don't know if that was from that, but cool. Didn't uh, Lubu also support my independence? Oh no, he wanted to, and then I misread it. I remember that was this campaign. <laughs> he, he wanted to pay me like two grand to support my independence, but I thought he meant I had to pay him, so I didn't accept it, and then I couldn't offer it to him, because you can't ask people to support your independence for some reason. Okay, well, um... I guess, yeah, the Liu Biao, that's going to cost me a lot of money. But we're still positive, even if that goes away. We're going down to like 1800 bucks, but that's okay. We can probably get another deal with him soon. Uh, yeah, end turn. Don't forget to marry. I'm not that worried. Yeah, and not enough money. Or even if I do, it's not important right now. Marriage doesn't really do anything. Except you get children, but those children will never see the light of day. The campaign will be far over before any children come of age. That's the downside of quick campaigns, but... Uh, I don't know who you are, but 448 is not a very good deal, so... It's it's quite the privilege to be allied to me, or have a non-aggression pact with me. Duchy of Song, holy fuck! That, he's got six vast... Oh, no, yeah, he's, he's got five vassals... No, wait, that's... Hold on, what is this? Is Matong also his vassal? Are these always vassals? I have no idea. Uh, no, because Liu Bei and Kong Rong were also... Well, Liu Bei, Liu Bei was definitely a vassal. Oh, you... Uh, Puppet Han Emperor captured. Wait. You want Shao? Took him from Cao Cao. What the fuck? Ma Tong si uh, declared war on Han Sui again. Xiang Yan aggressed Gong Xin Zhang during his Cao Cao. Interesting campaign. Ugh, no one interesting in here. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh, ah, Sun Tzu and Zheng Zhang are friends. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, well. What have we here? New faction capital. Yeah, okay, so he lost, I'm guessing, Lua Yang dies. Yaish. Alright, take this fucking town. Do it. Give it to me. I'm just gonna auto-resolve this bastard out of existence. Or should I fight this one? Finish off this, uh... Yeah, we should fight this one. Yeah, we should fight this one. Finish off the, uh, this quest, I guess. We're gonna get five grand for this as well, by the way. Nice little bonus. This guy's faction did not do well. I don't know what happened to him, but... Oof. Take the town from Wang Su and give it, to Liu, give it to Liu Biao to make the deal more favorable. Good idea, actually, since he gives me a lot of money for it. Like I said, I did want to sell this anyway, so that... You know, selling it to him makes sense, but especially now that the deal's out, run out. Perfect timing. What the fuck is this town? I guess this is... Yeah, this is an actual town, isn't it? I'm, I don't think I've ever seen this map before. Like, unwalled. What the fuck? Uh, well, I guess we'll just... Jeez, they've got so many towers here. Ridiculous. This is almost worse than a walled settlement. 
the amount of towers they've got. Alright. Fucking just blow them all up, I think. I might turtle formation anyway. But let's see what they do, because they might just come out of here, to be honest. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, they're selling out. Right, what well, are gonna get up? So you fucking slaughter fested. Absolutely fucking. Oh, what? Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever taken out a general with a trebuchet shot. Oh god, I can't believe I didn't get a close up of that. That would have been great. I've never seen a general die to a trebuchet shot. Oh my goodness. That's mad. Okay, this guy is like, what the fuck am I doing here right now? That's the man himself. I really should stop firing at him. Is it too late? Is it too late now to stop firing? Okay, fire at someone other than him. I want uh, Sunset to kill him. Wait, we're almost one already. <laughs> I want Sunset to murder him. Revenge, there we go. Run him down. Revenge for his father, right? Fair enough. There we go. Holy shit. Try to jewel. Yeah, they're not gonna accept jewels when they're on like 5 HP, dude. At least you. Why are you guys. Are you guys not thinking when you say shit? Like, I can't. Like, no one's gonna accept a jewel when they're on 5 HP. It doesn't happen. They're not gonna do it. I can promise you. Even if I didn't look, I can 100% guarantee you that would never happen. Maybe they do it on lower difficulties or something, but on Legendary, I can guarantee you. It doesn't happen. Alright. Got a nice ancillary and something else. A horse. Sweet. Ooh, that horse is actually important. There we go. Oof. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Achievements. Uh, as soon as uh, kill Huangzhu in ba duel or battle. Oh my god! I got an achievement for doing that specifically. Unless maybe it, ma it, maybe it means just in battle. Like... But I, I did kill him specifically with Sun Tse, so I do wonder if that actually made a difference. Either way, see you later, faction. Uh, capture over the start of Jinglang Capital. Okay, I wonder what we got for that bonus. There we go, two Reckless Luck per turn and 25 Prestige. And five Grand. Lovely. And his faction's deadoid. Deadzoid. Okay, so what was that one? That have, a cap have that specific capital? Um, not that one, this one. Yes, we got five rec reckless luck for that one as well. Uh, yeah, so this have 160 more cunning. The reason I said the horse is important because I'm pretty sure that's going to kick him over the edge. No, it's not. But it will kick him over the edge once we get one more level up. That's what I was thinking. Um, I also have some spare horses that I might need to give out actually. No, I don't think I, I, don't, I, don't, even more, I don't have any champions right now, so never mind. Uh, we also got armor, but that's irrelevant, and that is actually not bad. It's actually better for 5% trade influence. It is some money, I guess I could give it to someone at, like Sun Chuan, but I'm not too fussed about that. Alright, so yeah, I might, I might trade this away, but I will do that next time. I'll have a look at that. Said it before the battle. You could have said, you could have seen before the battle. He had no HP as well, though. Uh, we are gonna do corruption reduction. All right, not gonna do much yet, but over time it's gonna do quite well. Oh, uh, it will do quite well, I reckon. Uh, let me have a cheeky peek though before I quit this. Let's check. Oh my God! Yeah, Kongrong, Liu Bei, Han Empire, Hu Xin. Wu Long Fang, Shi Huang, Wang Wang Long, oh fuck, Zhang Yang and Zhang Ba. Shit, I, I forgot about that. I do have to attack him soon, actually. Also, he owns a town down there. It's not two towns, actually. Okay, I need to find a way to attack him without actually going to war if he wants. Although I suppose it wouldn't be that bad. Although he owns Brazilian vassals, some of which I'm sure are nearby. Uh, this guy down here. Oh wait. Oh no, that's the dickhead I took out, and then I. Took up, I got a piece of him, and he got vassalized immediately the same turn. And now he got, he has a town over there, what the heck? And I guess the Han Empire, that would be a big one, actually, yeah. Okay, well, I don't quite know how we're going to do this. And also, I think, yeah, we'd lose trade with Liu Bei and the Han Empire. Oof, yeah, okay. 
Well, it's a, it's a problem for uh, the, the future because first we've got to take out this place and that place. But after that, Wang Lang was going to be my next target. So I need to find a way to declare war on him without yeah, declaring war on... Um, on what's his face? Like maybe it's... Oh god, no, that's not going to happen. Well, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we need to find a way because I can't declare war on the entire faction. And I do need to take those three towns. Like, unless I could purchase those towns from him but this is his capital so i don't think that's even gonna happen although it's funny that's only level one if he were to change his capital to over here over here whatever um i could perhaps buy those from him over time but it would still be quite a while before that happens anyway all right yes the reason i went in here is because i wanted to check this out so if i were to give you this territory uh the town of jung that and then i give you Nothing else. Food, I guess. I just just to kind of have a cheeky peek at how much money I can get. Okay, yeah, we'd totally be, uh, we'd be cooking again. All right, that's good. Well, we'll do that next time. I'm going to end this here. Let me just attack that. Just save the game again. And continue to the siege. They're going to start taking attrition after next turn. Wait, hold on. No, this turn. Good, okay. Uh, right, so that's going to be that. Donkey, declare war on Wang Long and only Yuan Shao joins in. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I think you're right, actually. Okay, well, that would work. Although he probably would still just say to his vassals, hey, go and attack that dickhead. Um, but uh, yeah, at least it would be like something that would gradually become more problematic, not instantly, like a big old fucking huge problem, if you will. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but we'll figure it out next time. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all again soon, probably tomorrow, but again, no promises. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. I'll be streaming this a lot more. Um, really enjoying this campaign, actually. This this is uh, this is a fun one. It's been going like too. It's going very smoothly, which is probably helping. But uh, anyway, until next time, have a good day and goodbye.